Chapter 881 Stone Tribe Translator Born to be seeing those people, Yu Ziaokian's face paled, but Long Chen became ecstatic. Yu Ziaokian didn't know about his relationship with the Xiao tribe. Here, Long Chen tossed out a jade plate to the person who seemed to be the leader of this aboriginal group. Although that person's aura was retracted, the pressure coming from him was extremely strong. He was definitely an expert amongst experts. That person was startled and caught the jade plate. Once he looked at it, his expression changed slightly, and he waved his hand at the people behind him. Kill them. Following his shout, those experts charged forward at Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian. Illusory seas appeared behind them. They were all sea expansion celestials. Fuck. Did that old man trick me? Long Chen was startled to see these people charging at them. He pushed Yu Ziaokian behind him and raised his sword at them. But those aboriginal shot past Long Chen. They launched a fierce attack on Zhu Yu and the others. When those aboriginals had first appeared, Zhu Yu and the others had paused, thinking that the aboriginals would kill Long Chen. But the aboriginals actually ignored him. Fall back. Zhu Yu couldn't raise his head to see what was going on. But he quickly realized the situation had turned sour. They only had a hundred people here. In the face of dozens of sea expansion celestials, they wouldn't stand a chance. Most importantly, he and Yu Chang Heo were so heavily injured that they really might be killed. However, they had still underestimated the viciousness of the aboriginals. Although they had fled quickly, the aboriginals didn't let them off. They chased after them, and in just the first clash, over ten of their experts were killed by them. This was the aboriginals' territory. There was no heavenly deo suppression here. Their power was at its peak state and facing invaders, they would naturally kill them with their full force. Seeing Zhu Yu and the others fleeing miserably, Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian were no longer able to endure. Long Chen quickly took out a seat for Yu Ziaokian. Then he sat straight on the ground, gasping for breath. This had been too dangerous. He had almost fallen into their hands. You should be Long Chen. Correct. The leader of this group of aboriginals walked over. He appeared to be in his forties. He had a square nose and appeared dignified. The kind of person who didn't speak much. Yes, I'm Long Chen. A senior told me that as long as I took out this tablet, you would help me, said Long Chen. Correct. This is Lord Heavenie's token of trust. Furthermore, Lord Heavenie told us to look after whoever showed this jade plate. Even if our entire tribe were to be destroyed, we had to do anything to help you, said that man. He actually offered Long Chen the jade plate with both hands extremely respectfully. Long Chen hastily tried to get up to receive it, but he was just too tired. The fact he wasn't lying on the ground was already not bad. He had no energy to stand, so he could only awkwardly receive the tablet with both hands. Senior, why would Lord Heavenie look after me so much? Furthermore, just what status does he have for you to put your tribes on the line with just his word? Asked Long Chen. He was extremely curious about that old man's status. The man smiled slightly. Lord Heavenie is the guide of all aboriginals. In our eyes, he is like a god. We naturally have to listen to his words. Novaloon.com Just as they were talking, the aboriginals that had charged at Zhu Yu and the others came back. They were holding quite a few weapons that were covered in blood. Um, did you manage to kill those two pieces of barbecue cough? I mean those two people that looked like they were charcoal. Asked Long Chen. One of them glanced at the middle-aged man, and seeing him nod, he said, No. They fled too quickly, and they had quite a few experts amongst them. Even here, we didn't have a guarantee to capture them. They quickly escaped into the cursed region, so we didn't dare to chase. Regretful. Let me tell you, those two fellows are the fattest sheep. Under that chaired layer, their entire bodies are good meat. Long Chen slapped his leg in pity. Yu Ziaokian felt like she was dreaming. How did Long Chen know the aboriginals? Then that really is regretful. Those aboriginals all felt some regret. They urgently needed the invaders' resources, especially their medicinal pills and weapons. But that's also fine. Since you've saved me, I naturally won't let you work for nothing. Comforted Long Chen. Long Chen, we helped you because of Lord Heavenie. We don't want your money. Are you looking down on us? Said the middle-aged man frostily. Ha ha ha. Good. Good. Then I won't stand on courtesy. Can we stay here for a bit to recover? Probed Long Chen. After all. Their spiritual yuan was exhausted. This kind of state was the worst to be in. Even if they had less than half their spiritual yuan, they could have fully recovered it in just a few days. But now that they were fully exhausted, it was like their bodies had entered a state of quasi-death. They needed a long time to fully recover. It was an extremely troublesome matter. 
which was why cultivators wouldn't use their final bit of power unless they had to. You're welcome to come and rest in the tribe. The middle-aged man nodded. He was actually extremely curious why Lord Heavenly would care for this Long Chen, an invader. Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian swallowed a key recovery pill. An hour later, they finally felt like they could walk, and they went with the aboriginals to their ancestral land. But this time, Long Chen wasn't forced to wear a blindfold. After a few short distance transportation formations, they arrived in a desert. They continued through the desert. Because Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian had exhausted all their spiritual yuan, they couldn't fly. Furthermore, Yu Ziaokian was a woman. It wouldn't be good for her to be carried by others. So everyone could only walk. May I ask Senior's name? Long Chen finally broke the silence. I wouldn't dare to be called Senior by you. I am Shi Kang, a member of the Stone Tribe. All of us are surnamed Shi, said the middle-aged man. No wonder you don't like to talk, laughed Long Chen. Long Chen. Yu Ziaokian lightly hit Long Chen, meaning not to make jokes at their expense when they weren't friends. It's fine. Our stone tribe's people really are a bit taciturn, said Shi Kang frankly. Long Chen smiled. I haven't come into contact with the stone tribe before, but I did stay with the Xiao tribe for a while. I feel like we aren't outsiders anymore. Furthermore, you've saved my life, so there's no need to stand on courtesy. The stone tribe's experts nodded inside. Their people didn't like speaking that much, and the words they did speak were always direct and to the point. Their character was just like that, and although they didn't dare to go against Lord Heavenly's orders, they still didn't feel very kindly toward Long Chen. After all, he was an invader, but Long Chen had been speaking sincerely and naturally from the start as if they weren't strangers. That made them feel more comfortable toward him. Big brother Long Chen, said one man. No, I'm not older than you. You can just call me brother. Long Chen hastily waved his hand. He wasn't so old that someone who appeared to be in his 30s could call him big brother. Was he trying to make him seem old on purpose? Okay, brother Long Chen. Why were those people chasing you? Asked this person. But as soon as he did, he saw Shi Kang glare at him, and he realized he had misspoken. Long Chen laughed, and being a bit taller than that person, he wrapped his arm around his shoulder. Ha ha ha. Just talking about it is infuriating. One of them is my mortal enemy, while the other, he was just trying to be a poser and trample me to death to prove how bad as he was. Brother, tell me, if you were me, what would you do? What else could I do? Just beat them to death. Exactly. That's exactly what I did. So they ended up turning into barbecue, but we weren't much better off than them. Those two brats couldn't beat me, so they called over a group of little brothers to handle me. If it weren't for you, I would have died, laughed Long Chen. His coarse words caused the stone tribe's experts to smile slightly. They liked this kind of speaking method. It was direct and blunt. Of course, Long Chen also could tell that the stone tribe's people were like that, which was why he spoke this way. Yu Ziaokian was a bit speechless. She was skilled in observation, and she could tell with just a few words and gestures from Long Chen. The aboriginal's wariness toward him had dropped a great deal. They began to talk and joke with him. In just an hour, Long Chen had begun chatting to them like they were old friends. It seemed Long Chen's face-reading ability was truly effective. The Stone Tribe's people were a bunch of direct men just like him. Ha ha ha, brother Long Chen, you really are refreshing and to my taste. Once we get back, let's have a proper drink together, laughed one of the aboriginals. The Stone Tribe's people were already treating him as a brother. Shi Kang frowned. Long Chen has exhausted his spiritual yuan. He needs to rest. You guys shouldn't disturb him. I, I forgot. All right, then we'll wait until brother Long Chen is recovered before drinking. Long Chen, those two charcoal people should be very strong, correct? Asked Shi Kang. This was his first time asking Long Chen a question. Perhaps he felt Long Chen was frank and straightforward enough that he could put down his misjivings. Yes, they truly are powerful. Their breeding was good, and they are two innate rank three celestials with ancestral bloodline inheritances. Even amongst innate rank three celestials, they are peak figures, said Long Chen. Previously, Long Chen had been able to dominate anyone in the same realm, but now, he was starting to feel like freaks were surrounding him. It was getting more and more taxing to fight them. Now he couldn't even beat them, but the others were deathly silent. All of them looked at Long Chen with shock. They clearly knew just how powerful innate rank three celestials were. We've arrived. I'll bring you to see the tribe leader. An oasis appeared in the desert. There was a string of tents within the oasis. 
She equals stone chapter 882 checking the spoils translator. Born to be Shi Kang brought Long Chen to see the stone tribe's leader. Long Chen was startled to see that he was a foundation forging expert. In terms of appearance, he seemed to be the same age as Shi Kang. And only later did Long Chen learn that he was Shi Kang's grandfather. He didn't seem to find it too strange for Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian to arrive here. He was very cordial. He directly set up a new tent for Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian, as well as setting up guards so that they could heal in peace. He even offered them their stone tribe's most precious medicinal pills. But naturally, those medicinal pills were refused. They were too lacking, and Long Chen couldn't even force himself to eat them. He simply said that he had his own pills before going into seclusion with Yu Ziaokian. This time, it took him a long time to recover. Long Chen only came out of seclusion after half a month. His spiritual Yuan had finally begun to recover. It was like starting a fire. The first requirement was a flame seed. When the spiritual Yuan was completely exhausted, the flame seed was also extinguished. To recover, the flame seed had to be reignited in order to recover more spiritual Yuan. Igniting the flame seed of his spiritual Yuan took him half a month. The price for completely exhausting one's spiritual Yuan was a heavy one. Yu Ziaokian was still sitting, while in seclusion. She wasn't wearing her veil. Her beautiful face that was both holy and bewitching was fully revealed to him. That was a kind of soul-stealing beauty that would make it so a person couldn't extricate themselves from it. After staring at her for a while, Long Chen suddenly realized he was breathing faster, and a strong desire had appeared. He had an urge to kiss her. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Important things have to be said three times. The meat will sooner or later be cooked in the pot. It won't run away. So don't rush things. With supreme willpower, Long Chen turned away from Yu Ziaokian to avoid losing control. It was too difficult to control himself around her. Let's check the spoils. To distract himself, Long Chen looked inside his spiritual space. Damn, am I seeing things? There's this many. Long Chen almost jumped. His spiritual space was filled with various treasure items. They were piled into a small mountain. There were probably no less than a thousand of them. Furthermore, hundreds of spatial rings could be seen piled up beside the treasure items. While you killed people, I'd be embarrassed to just do nothing. So I helped you gather some of this junk. It'll cancel out the karma of absorbing their spiritual strength, said the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Senior, how much have you recovered? Long Chen was delighted. He wanted to know just how much the Eastern Wasteland Bell had recovered so he could decide when to use it. How much have I recovered? He, you don't need to play such a game with me. The injuries I've suffered are not something you can imagine. My body is incomplete, and this little spiritual strength is only able to nourish my soul. To recover, I need to find the other pieces of my body, said the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Where are the other parts of your body? Do you need me to help you? Asked Long Chen courteously. He, you want me to owe you another favor? Little fellow, give up on that thought. Your fate is different from others. Even if it's to get rid of karma, each time I help you will still cause you to bear the heavenly Deus karma. You can't rely on anyone in this life. You can only rely on yourself. To put it in the manner of the secular world, if you lean on a mountain, the mountain will collapse. If you lean on water, the water will dry up. What the fuck? Why does it feel like I'm an unlucky star? Long Chen was speechless. That's not the case. All you need to know is that your cultivation path is different from everyone else's. You'll need to work for whatever you have, said the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Suddenly, it shut its mouth. It must have felt that it had touched upon some taboo novelune.com fine. I feel like power is more reliable than luck anyways. Ah, senior, are there any good treasure items amongst this pile? Can you help me pick some? Asked Long Chen. They're all trash. What is there to pick? Said the Eastern Wasteland Bell. No. Please don't look at them from your height. I need to know which one of these are top grade and which are trash, said Long Chen. Treasure items are split into low, middle, high, and top grade. You already have two top grade treasure items. One of them is that sword, flying rainbow. The other one is your blood-colored saber. As for that saber of yours, it should have been forged by an ancient craftsman. It's much better than average, and its innate quality has also received an upgrade. It's not bad said the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Long Chen hastily took out Flying Rainbow and Bloodrinker from the Primal Chaos space. He asked, Senior, can you tell me more about them? Me? Are you treating me as some ordinary craftsman? Said the Eastern Wasteland Bell with irritation. But although it was dissatisfied, it still said, 
Flying Rainbow's quality is not bad. The forging technique that went into it was a bit lacking, but because an expert once used their own Sword Deo to create its spirit, it contains a trace of the Sword Deo's will. However, you aren't a sword cultivator, and you can't receive its approval, so it's fated that it can't become your companion. You should find a better master for it. Long Chen thought to himself that there would be no better master for it than Yu Zifeng. Originally, his plan had already been to give it to him. As for your blood-colored saber, its item spirit has been injured. No wonder its power is low. Oh, it actually absorbed Phoenix blood black gold and is still digesting its essence? Long Chen, you have Phoenix blood black gold, asked the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Yes, I do. If you need it, you can take it. But there are only some broken down pieces now, said Long Chen. Long Chen saw that the Phoenix blood black gold ore he had obtained was already fractured. It was now broken down and he assumed there wasn't much use to it any longer. Let me see it, said the Eastern Wasteland Bell a bit urgently. Long Chen took out a piece of the Phoenix Blood Black Gold out of the Primal Chaos space. The Eastern Wasteland Bell scanned the ore and was shocked. It actually contains the Divine Phoenix's essence blood, and from a pure-blooded descendant of the Divine Phoenix at that. This is very helpful to me, hearing that the Eastern Wasteland Bell wanted it. Long Chen brought all the Phoenix Blood Black Gold out of his Primal Chaos space. Seeing more and more ore entering the spiritual space, the Eastern Wasteland Bell couldn't help but say, Long Chen, this ore is very important to me. However, however, your conditions don't change. You can only help me once, said Long Chen. Yes, if you feel like you're on the losing side, it's fine. I'm not so stingy. Bloodrinker has already said that it doesn't need this ore, it's useless to me. If you didn't want it, I'd have to just throw it away, said Long Chen. He truly didn't have a use for it, as he didn't have the time or energy to go smelt the ore for its essence. The Eastern Wasteland Bell was a bit embarrassed. After all, its status was extremely high, but it had its own difficulties and couldn't help Long Chen too much. After obtaining the Phoenix Blood Black Gold, the Eastern Wasteland Bell felt bad not helping Long Chen more. Hence, it helped Long Chen divide the treasure items into grades. Long Chen was disappointed to see that many of the treasure's items he had obtained were just low grade. He had obtained 1,187 treasure items in total when including the ones from the coffins and the ones from people he had killed 1,045 of them were only low grade. That caused his excitement to diminish. But then when he thought about it, he laughed involuntarily. He had been too greedy. After all, those were treasure items, not cabbages. When he thought about it, just how many treasure items had been in the Zuanshan Deo sect's treasury. A person should know when to be satisfied. There were 107 middle grade treasure items. Middle grade treasure items had higher level item spirits. They had a certain level of intelligence, and thus wouldn't be as foolish as low grade treasure items. They could help their masters release even greater power. There were 35 high grade treasure items. Two of them were the pagoda and the bracelet he had swindled out of Wang Junmo. Long Chen's guess was that Wang Junmo definitely hadn't known the true power of these two treasure items. He had just felt them to be not bad, but hadn't known their true value. If it weren't for the Eastern Wasteland Bell, Long Chen also wouldn't have been able to distinguish their value. High-grade treasure items had even more intelligent item spirits, but such treasure items required their masters to use spiritual strength to nourish them and form a bond of trust. They would form contracts with their owners, with each side dependent on the other. With the two sides working together, they could release the greatest power. The Eastern Wasteland Bell explained that Bloodrinker was originally a peak grade treasure item. Its quality was extremely high, and the craftsmanship that went into it could not be criticized. Most importantly, having absorbed some of the Phoenix Blood Black Gold's energy, its quality had greatly increased. It was just that its item spirit had once been injured, so Long Chen needed to nourish it with his own soul. It gave Long Chen an item nourishing technique. That delighted Long Chen. The Eastern Wasteland Bell was so picky, so whatever it transmitted to him was definitely a priceless treasure. This nourishing technique was incredibly refined, and he had never heard of it before. Furthermore, the Eastern Wasteland Bell hadn't said that he couldn't transmit this technique to others. He planned on transmitting the secret art to everyone by his side. That way, they could quickly control treasure items as well. Regretfully, Yu Ziaokian was from the original Devil Race. Their weapons were different from his worlds. She couldn't bring out these treasure items power, which was why they were all in Long Chen's hands. Half a day later, Yu Ziaokian also awoke. She had managed to activate her heavenly Deo energy and begun to recover her spiritual Yuan. However, 
She had completely exhausted her core energy, and it was impossible for her core energy to recover in this world. She had to return to the skyscraping world for that. Seeing Long Chen look at her with distress, she smiled and comforted him, saying that it was a good thing. Without the slightest bit of the original devil race's energy, she could undergo tribulation in the immemorial path and receive its lightning baptism. Countless people were waiting for the spiritual key eruption right now that would give them a perfect foundation for sea expansion and allow them to walk further on their cultivation path. Many people even thought that the secret to becoming a god or immortal lay in this heavenly tribulation. Originally, Yu Ziaokian had no intention of undergoing that tribulation, but because Long Chen had given her a heavenly day of fruit, she could enjoy that special treatment. She was also preparing to tell her clansmen to find ways to exhaust their own core energy so that they could undergo their tribulations as well. Brother Long Chen, there's someone looking for you, a person called out from outside the tent. Chapter 883 Spiritual Key Eruption Translator Born to be Guo Ran, Long Chen had never expected that the person looking for him was Guo Ran. Within the Stone Tribe's territory, Guo Ran was surrounded by a dozen experts. They only let him go with Long Chen when they saw that Long Chen knew him. Haha, <laughs> boss, I've been looking for you for a long time now, but to think that you ended up with the aboriginals. Junior brother's reverence is like torrential water. Guo Ran was amazed to see Long Chen had muddled his way into the aboriginal side so peacefully. Can you stop with the useless words? Said Long Chen. This brat was becoming more and more of a suck up. Seeing Guo Ran's mischievous smile, Yu Ziaokian couldn't help but laugh. The two of them really were alike. It was just that it was unknown who had infected who. Wa boss, you were so fast in catching another Long Chen grab Guo Ran's throat. And just like that dragged him into the tent. This brat had no handle on his mouth, and who knew what he would say in a moment. Boss, you almost strangled me to death. Cough, cough, grumbled Guo Ran. Oh, thank you sister-in-law. Guo Ran respectfully received a cup of tea from Yu Ziaokian with both hands. Yu Ziaokian blushed and hastily went over to Long Chen's side. You two can chat. I'll go for a stroll. Once Yu Ziaokian had left, Guo Ran couldn't help but sigh with admiration. Boss, your pickup abilities really are unrevealed beneath the heavens. When can I also reach your realm? Ah, killing the strongest enemies, picking up the most beautiful girls. Novaloon.com Long Chen couldn't be bothered to explain that he had known Yu Ziaokian for a long time. He asked, How did you come here? Guo Ran said, Aren't I doing exactly what you told me to do? I spent all this time looking for everyone. It's been hard on you. So, did you manage to find everyone? Asked Long Chen. He knew that Guo Ran's armor could transform into a flying boat. No one could compare to him when it came to searching for people. He, luckily, I didn't fail your orders. I managed to get in touch with Menki and Wanur. They're in seclusion right now. As for Yu Zifeng, his luck was heaven defying. He obtained an ancient sword Dao inheritance. When I found him, he thought I was an enemy and almost killed me with one slash of his sword. Gu Yang also wasn't lazy. He obtained an ancient medicinal pill and is in the process of absorbing it. Everyone is hidden in seclusion. Other than me, no one else knows their positions. As for Wild I know about Wild. We ended up running into each other. However, Long Chen told Guo Ran about how Li Qi and Song Mingguan had left. Guo Ran nodded. In truth, I also sensed that the two of them were hiding something from me when I brought them to Wild. There's nothing that can be done. People all have their own pride. And the stronger a person the greater their pride. People as shameless as me are rare. As captains, the two of them are both in charge of 90 dragonblood warriors. However, compared to Gu Yang and Yu Zifeng, they are much weaker. They naturally don't like that feeling. To want to get stronger wasn't wrong. Long Chen should loosen his reins and give them more space to find their own opportunities. That was a principle Long Chen understood, but he was unable to go through with it. The loss of even one of his brothers would make him feel pain. Seeing Long Chen's grave expression, Guo Ran continued, Sister-in-law Menki obtained a secret art in an ancient maze. She's in the midst of studying it. As for sister-in-law Wanur, she found a wind attribute trial region. She decided to just stay there. Hearing all this good news, Long Chen's heart finally relaxed. I've given them everything you asked me to give them. He, now, everyone's focused on the spiritual key eruption to break through to see expansion, said Guo Ran. He was already at the peak of Xi'anchen and just waiting for that moment. But compared to boss, we really were lazy. I've already heard all the stories circulating about you, which is how I managed to find you here. 
Even when Yu Chang Heo and Zhu Yu worked together, they were still beaten like dogs by you and almost killed. Long Chen shook his head. That's not something to be happy about. Someone told me that innate celestials like Zhu Yu and Yu Chang Heo, who also possess their ancestors' bloodline blessing, will automatically advance to rank 4 celestials upon reaching C expansion. And that's not the worst part. Many of their innate divine abilities can only be fully used upon reaching C expansion. So once they advance, their battle power will increase by dozens of times, perhaps even more than a hundred times. Long Chen wasn't just trying to scare him. This was what Len Yuian had told him. Before she had encountered him, Zhu Yu had been her target. She had precisely been waiting for Zhu Yu to reach C expansion before having an all-out fight against him. Now that she had changed targets to Long Chen, she didn't want him to vainly die at other people's hands. So she had warned him about this. With Len Yuian's character, she definitely wouldn't just try to scare him. Now that he had fought with those powerful geniuses, Long Chen was shocked by their innate divine abilities. Once they reached C expansion, they would be able to erupt with their true power. That much? Asked Guo Ran in shock. Perhaps even more than you imagine, said Long Chen gravely. Making sure he wasn't careless was best. I have another task for you. Since you know everyone's location, it's perfect. Long Chen took out four heavenly Dao fruits. Those were heaven-defying treasures. He naturally didn't need to introduce them to Guo Ran. He almost shouted in delight. Long Chen also gave Guo Ran four spatial rings. There was one for Men Qi, Tang Wan Er, Gu Yang, and Yu Zifeng. He had given them things in accordance with their own traits. Each one of them was given at least ten treasure items, and only the best. There were weapons, boots, and arm protectors, as well as hard and soft armor. There were even bracelets, rings, necklaces, earrings, and all kinds of various treasure items. To sum it up, Long Chen was fully equipping all of them. He was like a wealthy landlord using his own money to raise everyone's power to a new level. However, to release these treasure items true power would require everyone to advance to see expansion first. Otherwise, that little bit of spiritual yuan in the Xi'anchen realm wouldn't allow them to use even a single treasure item. Originally, these treasure items couldn't be stored in spatial rings. It was the Eastern Wasteland Bell which had helped seal their power so that they would lie asleep in the rings. They would only awaken once they were taken out. After making sure Guo Ran wouldn't mix up the spatial rings, Long Chen gave him all the treasure items he didn't need. Guo Ran's forging table was a priceless treasure. As Guo Ran's own skill improved, he discovered more and more amazing aspects of it. One was that it could merge into his body. Another one was that the forging table had its own space. It could store many things. But even so, over a thousand treasure items almost filled the entire space. Boss, am I dreaming? Guo Ran couldn't believe his eyes. How had he obtained this many treasure items? In the Zhuanchen Dao sect, there were so many sea expansion experts that still didn't have the qualifications to possess a treasure item. In truth, treasure items were very rare. It was just that Long Chen had encountered a nest of them, as well as plundered the other experts who had arrived there with him. So now he had a ridiculous number of them. You can study these treasure items. Perhaps they'll help your forging arts. Ah, there's also these. Long Chen waved his hand, and a pile of needles appeared on the ground. They were the rock thorn mice's quills. What are these? They don't look like metal. Aya, Guo Ran picked up a needle, but as a result, the sharp quill pierced his finger. Pig, Long Chen was speechless. A dagger appeared in his hand and he cut off Guo Ran's finger. That finger quickly turned pitch black and corroded upon falling to the ground. Damn, how poisonous. Guo Ran was shocked. He even forgot to use his heavenly day of recovery. You can properly study these, and see if you can include them in your inventions. If you can use these properly, they'll be a terrifying killing tool, said Long Chen. Finally, here is a priceless treasure. I'm sure you'll be happy to see it. When Guo Ran saw the huge earth dragon's egg, he was incomparably excited. Long Chen had him take the remaining two eggs for Men Qi and Tang Wan Er as well. He told him to go find Men Qi first, so that she could help Guo Ran bind the egg and teach him how to raise a magical beast. When Guo Ran left, he was absolutely delighted. Long Chen also managed to relax. He once more entered seclusion with Yu Xiaokian, focusing on recovering his spiritual Yuan. He also began devouring medicinal pills, pushing forward to the ninth star transformation. Once the Enlightenment Palace star had reached the eighth star transformation, Long Chen had realized the amount of energy required to reach the ninth star transformation was practically unfathomable. 
but as long as he continued consuming medicinal pills, he would succeed sooner or later. Long Chen also summoned Little Snow. Yu Ziaokian liked Little Snow, and Little Snow liked Yu Ziaokian. Once they had recovered their spiritual Yuan, Yu Ziaokian began to bring Little Snow out of the Stone Tribe to roam and play. As for Long Chen, he focused on consuming medicinal pills. He had some rare days of peace in the Stone Tribe. Long Chen decided to just stay here. In order to express his gratitude to the Stone Tribe, he gave them all the medicinal pills he had plundered. He had killed so many people that he had an ocean's worth of pills and weapons. This kind of wealth caused the Stone Tribe's experts to jump in shock. The Stone Tribe didn't decline his generosity. After taking his gift, they directly gave him a spatial ring. A mountain of Yuan spirit stones was inside the ring. There had to be over a million of them. Just like that, Long Chen passed more than two happy months in the Stone Tribe. Each day, he drank and played with the Stone Tribe's men. He was content during these days. Finally, the world turned gloomy. Mist began to condense in the sky. Long Chen's heart shook. The legendary spiritual key eruption was finally beginning. Chapter 884 Familiar Aura Translator Born to be it had been exactly half a year since the immemorial path had opened. On this day, Long Chen clearly felt the spiritual key of heaven and earth change qualitatively, and the spiritual key in the air was growing denser and denser. Brother Long Chen, the tribe leader wants to see you, said a stone tribe expert. Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian hastily followed him to the tribe leader's tent. All the stone tribe's experts had gathered. Shi Kang was also present, and he nodded in greeting upon seeing Long Chen arrive. The spiritual key eruption has begun. Not only is the spiritual key in the immemorial path growing denser, but the laws of heaven and earth, as well as the world's core energy, are within it. This is the best moment to advance to see expansion. Are you ready? The tribe leader got right to the point. Yes, we've long since made our preparations. Is there anything we should know? Asked Long Chen. The stone tribe leader smiled. Just a few things. This spiritual key eruption is related to the crumbling of the immemorial path. As for the details, perhaps only Lord Heavenly knows them, but I will tell you what I know. During this time, the special spiritual key will spread throughout every corner of the immemorial path, so there's basically no difference where you make your breakthrough. However, there are a few special places with formations that will allow a cultivator to make twice the gains for half the effort. Those places are called immortal condensing platforms. Long Chen was startled to learn such a secret, but Yu Ziaokian didn't reveal any emotion. She had long since known about this. The Stone Tribe leader continued. However, these immortal condensing platforms have their benefits, but they also have their drawbacks. The spiritual key it gathers will contain more of the laws of heaven and earth, and is extremely helpful to comprehend the heavenly deos. But because your comprehension of the heavenly deos increases, your corresponding heavenly tribulation will also be stronger. If you can't handle it, you'll be turned to dust. So I ask you, what do you want to do? Long Chen immediately understood something. Tribe leader, I don't think it would be right for us to use something as precious as your immortal condensing platform. Haha, <laughs> no, it's not our stone tribes. In truth, there are quite a few immortal condensing platforms on the immemorial path. However, many of them were destroyed, and a few were noticed by invaders. So we hid the remaining ones for our own people. The aboriginals possess two such immortal condensing platforms. However, we can't use them, because that would just be sending ourselves to our deaths. The heavenly tribulation becomes furious and refuses to allow us to use it to advance. In fact, even if we don't use the immortal condensing platforms, advancing at this time would still be exceedingly dangerous. The tribe leader sighed. His gaze was full of hatred as he looked up at the heavens, but he was powerless. The aboriginals felt like they were a pitiful people abandoned by the heavens. They could only rely on themselves. So, I have to warn you. The immortal condensing platforms are a double-edged blade. You have to choose carefully, said the tribe leader. Although Long Chen was an outsider, after being in contact with him for so long, he very much liked this frank child. He was to the stone tribe's taste. So he gave him this opportunity and warning. What do you say? Long Chen asked Yu Ziaokian. It's an extremely difficult decision. Perhaps the immortal condensing platforms are the true secret to becoming a god or immortal. We can't miss it. Yu Ziaokian's eyes were full of hope. This was a gamble. If they won it, then perhaps she could allow the original devil race to escape its current predicament. He, I'll accompany you, said Long Chen. All right, I knew you would make this decision. 
but don't blame an old man for talking too much, laughed the tribe leader. Of course not, laughed Long Chen. Let's go, I'll take you there. The tribe leader brought Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian out of the Stone Tribe's ancestral land. What surprised Long Chen was that the majority of the Stone Tribe's experts were also brought along. The Stone Tribe was huge. Half their experts would be numbered in the tens of thousands. For this many people to accompany him, it felt far too big in scope. It felt like they were going into battle. The tribe leader led them all for seven days. The spiritual key in the air was growing denser and denser, even condensing into a mist. Seven days later, they arrived at a huge altar. The altar had a diameter of 300 miles. However, half of it had crumbled, and it was unknown whether it could still be used. There were two pillars on the altar, each of them 300 meters tall and 30 meters wide. Countless ancient lines were carved into it, but there was so much dust on it, it was clear it had been abandoned for a long time. Shockingly, there were countless experts gathered in front of the altar. They were numbered in at least the millions. Lord Heavenly, Long Chen was startled. This group of people had all at least reached sea expansion and there were dozens of people at the front with powerful auras. They were clearly foundation-forging experts, and Lord Heavenly was amongst them. Haha, <laughs> Long Chen, you won't mind if we come to watch the fun, right? Laughed Lord Heavenly. Of course I don't mind. Having this many people cheer for me is something I couldn't have even if I begged. Then, in a bit, remember to cheer loudly and wave some flags. That would be the most exciting. Laughed Long Chen. Yu Ziaokian was speechless. These people were clearly examining Long Chen as they had never seen him before, but he actually began joking with them. Big brother Long Chen, I'll cheer you on. Someone waved their hand amongst the crowd. Long Chen looked and saw several familiar faces. They were Xiao Fei, Xiao Ling, and the others. But he didn't see the old tribe leader. Good brother, Long Chen gave him a thumbs up. It seemed Xiao Fei was leading the group of the Xiao tribe's experts. He had finally begun to bear that heavy responsibility. You should go up there now. Take advantage of this little remaining time to adjust your states, said Lord Heavenly. His white eyes were a bit frightening, but his smile was kind. Long Chen nodded and bowed to him. He and Yu Ziaokian jumped onto the platform's pillars. Long Chen smiled at Yu Ziaokian and closed his eyes, focusing on bringing himself to his peak state. Both Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian were at the peak of Xi'anshan. As long as they wanted to, they could attack the expansion at any time. Right now, they had to relax themselves, making their hearts enter an empty state. One of the foundation forging experts behind Lord Heavenly looked at the two of them and said, Lord Heavenly, why did you have all of us come? Is it really just to cheer for these two children? Why not? Said Lord Heavenly with a smile. The elder was speechless. They were the various leaders of their tribes, foundation forging experts, and behind them were their elites. However, they had come to cheer for some Xi'anshan rookies. Brother Fang. Lord Heavenly is just joking with you. He must have his own reasons. Let's just watch. Laughed another tribe leader. Lord Heavenly smiled. Lines began to circulate within his white eyes, and it was like he could see through each of their hearts. I know everyone's time is precious, but I still took the risk of gathering everyone here despite the weakening of defenses. That's naturally not just to play around. It's all because of the ancestors' final words before ascending. They were startled and one of them said, the dragon swims through the mortal world. The immemorial revives. Lightning breaks the sky. The end of the ten worlds. The younger experts didn't quite understand what they were talking about. In fact, even some of the younger tribe leaders didn't know. But the seniors looked at Long Chen with shock. Could it be? It's too early to say anything for sure. It's similar, but not entirely the same. We'll be able to see the proof soon. So calling everyone here to watch isn't a bad thing, said Lord Heavenly. The tribe leaders immediately stopped complaining. They no longer looked at that figure on the platform so lightly. The spiritual key in the air was still growing denser. The mist was starting to condense practically into liquid, a sign that the spiritual key had reached an inconceivable density. It was like the entire world was drowning in spiritual key. Long Chen sat cross-legged on one of the stone pillars, keeping his heart empty. It was like his mind had escaped its cage and was floating throughout the entire immemorial path. It was a strange, mysterious feeling that he couldn't describe. It was like he was a god overlooking this world. He didn't know that when he entered that state, the dust on the stone pillar slowly fell, and countless ancient runes began to awaken as if they were absorbing some mysterious energy. Long Chen felt empty, as if he didn't exist, as if he were one with the world. The empty Dao heart, a state of no me. Lord Heavenly nodded slightly. 
The other tribe leaders were all startled, because even they were unable to reach such a state. That was an even deeper cultivation state than meditation. Long Chen didn't know about their shock. In this mysterious state, he felt completely relaxed, like a fetus in the womb. Because he didn't try to look at anything, he saw more than ever. But this kind of seeing was indistinct. All he saw was the general shape of the immemorial path. Four paths had all been severed. The center of the original cross-shaped path had vanished, resulting in each path being unable to reach the center any longer. Not only did he see that general shape, but he also sensed countless auras. Suddenly, Long Chen felt an extremely familiar aura, and he hastily focused on looking. But as soon as he did that, he suddenly found the scene disappearing, as if everything had been a dream. He was still sitting on that pillar. It's Ye's Hikyu. It's definitely her. Long Chen was sure he had sensed her aura. All right. The spiritual key has reached its peak. You can decide who wants to attack sea expansion first, said Lord Heavenly. Chapter 885 3000 Mile Key C Translator Born to be on one of the other four paths, a woman was standing alone at the peak of a mountain. This was the northern source's trial path. The mountain beneath her feet was covered in ice. A verdant forest had originally been here, but it was now a land of ice. Snow constantly circulated around her. She was grand and beautiful, like a goddess of ice. Her eyes suddenly opened. Those pupils were icy cold, but within that iciness, a trace of warmth appeared. It's him. She looked in a certain direction, her gaze seeming to be able to pierce through space. A face appeared in her mind, one that was a bit naughty, but one that was extremely warm when it smiled. Senior Apprentice Sisters Hikyu, the spiritual key has reached its peak. You can advance to see expansion now, shouted a distant woman wearing the same white robes as her. All right, you can go too. The immortal condensing pillars have benefits and drawbacks. Don't force yourself. Yes, Hikyu nodded, looking into the distance. She once more closed her eyes. Snow began to dance around her, and an icy aura soared into the sky. Hearing Lord Heavenly's words, Long Chen and Yuzayokian opened their eyes, looking at each other. Yuzayokian asked, together. Long Chen shook his head. No, you can go first. Yu Ziaokian nodded and closed her eyes. Her aura began to surge, as if a peaceful lake was starting to boil. It grew more and more intense, until her aura was raging against the sky. Long Chen stared closely. He wanted to see how others advanced to see expansion. Yu Ziaokian's aura was growing stronger and stronger, with everything within a hundred miles trembling from it. An illusory sea appeared behind her. It was five miles wide. The spiritual key around her was pouring into it. Heavens, it's already so big at the start. Once she steps into sea expansion, won't it be enough to frighten someone to death? The sea expansion experts were all shocked. The initial sea of a sea expansion expert was normally only 300 meters. 1500 meters would make someone a genius. But even geniuses couldn't compare to Yu Ziaokian's initial sea. This sea was a projection of her dantian. As she used her dantian's power, its image automatically appeared before her. The initial C and her dantian were linked. Their energy was the same. Once the initial C behind her formed, spiritual key began to be absorbed faster and faster by it. It gradually grew larger, growing by the mile every breath. What speed? The experts were startled again. Not only was her initial C exceedingly large, but the speed at which it grew was many times faster than others. Yu Ziaokian's body began to automatically float in the air. The more her initial C grew, the higher she floated. In less than an incense stick's worth of time, her initial C was already 30 miles wide. The powerful fluctuations were constantly causing ripples in space. But once it reached that size, the speed at which it grew clearly lowered. Or perhaps it was just too big, and so any increase in size seemed insignificant. Through the aboriginal shock, Long Chen was able to tell that this speed was amazing. But he was worried. He didn't have a dantian. How was he supposed to advance to see expansion? Thunder filled the air. Long Chen jumped. But when he looked up, he didn't see any change in the weather. The immemorial path's heavenly tribulations are linked. When nearby people undergo tribulation, it's common for others to sense it, explained Lord Heavenly. Long Chen nodded. The immemorial path truly was strange. He didn't know whether they would be disturbed because of others undergoing tribulation too close to them. As if seeing through Long Chen's thoughts, Lord Heavenly said, you don't need to worry. Although you can hear the thunder of their tribulations, in reality, they're probably millions of miles away. It's like swimming in an ocean. You don't need to worry about the ripples from other people affecting you. Right now, she's in the midst of fully forming her initial sea. 
Once it forms a resonance with her dantian, her tribulation will fall. Although the immortal condensing pillar does have an isolation effect, you might get affected by her tribulation. To be safe, you can temporarily leave. These pillars on the immortal condensing platform had runic formations. No matter who sat on them, they would feel a strange force field around them. Through that force field, their absorption of spiritual key would increase, but the lightning tribulation would also grow stronger. It's fine. I'll stay right here. I can look after her like this. Long Chen smiled and declined his suggestion. His refusal caused quite a few people's eyes to turn a bit colder. Lord Heavenly was like a god to them, and Long Chen was being disrespectful. But Lord Heavenly merely smiled slightly without the least bit of anger. He continued watching Yu Ziaokian with everyone else. As her initial C continued to grow, Long Chen closed his eyes, seeing if he could enter that mysterious state again. As he circulated the nine star hegemon body art, his soul relaxed, and he gradually felt that feeling of being able to see the entire world. But what he saw was extremely indistinct. It was more like a sense, a kind of spiritual perception. As his spiritual perception grew, he saw experts surrounded by lightning nearby. They were receiving the baptism of heavenly tribulation. It seemed they didn't have any experience and hadn't timed it properly. They had begun their breakthrough before the spiritual key had reached its greatest density. Now, they had already finished expanding their sea and were undergoing tribulation. From the strength of their tribulations, it was possible to tell that their expanded seas weren't very large. Otherwise, the tribulations wouldn't be so weak. His spiritual perception spread further. Long Chen sensed more and more people absorbing spiritual key and attacking sea expansion. Some were deep in the mountains, some were in the ruins, while some were sitting in the clouds. To sum it up, all the disciples that had entered the immemorial path were now attacking sea expansion. Excellent, this fellow should be Gu Yang. Long Chen sensed a familiar aura. He seemed to be able to see a dazzling bald head that could light up heaven and earth. Such a thing was probably something only Gu Yang possessed. Boom. Suddenly, Long Chen was woken by a powerful pressure. He opened his eyes to see that Yu Ziaokian's initial sea had grown to a huge size of 3,000 miles. What he didn't know was that in his empty state, he hadn't felt the passing of time. Ten days had passed without him knowing. Only now did he see that Lord Heavenly and the other aboriginals were thousands of miles away, still watching them, seeing that huge key sea. Other than Lord Heavenly, everyone was astonished. This was a true sea, a key sea of 3,000 miles. Perhaps she has already reached the level of an immortal sprout from the immortal era, gulped one elder. The other experts were as astonished as him. They were under a curse here and were unable to rely on the sudden influx of spiritual key to advance or cultivate. Such a huge initial sea was something they had only heard of in legends. Lord Heavenly shook his head. The immortal sprout standard is to have a 3,000 mile initial sea at the very beginning. She's far from that requirement. But this huge key sea of hers is truly startling. Although it can't compare to those legendary immortal sprouts, her future prospects are unlimited. But this is just the start. The difficult part starts now. Lord Heavenly's expression was slightly grave. The larger the initial C, the stronger the heavenly tribulation. Those were the laws of the heavenly deos. That was why the immortal condensing platform was a double-sided blade. Yu Ziaokian's veil had been destroyed. She suddenly found that she was starting to lose control of her key C. She had been worried that she wouldn't be able to expand her key C large enough, so she had gone all out. However, now her key C had reached an immense size, such an immense size that it was out of her control. She also knew what the concept of a 3,000 mile initial C meant. She was the first one to reach this level since the original devil race had declined. If she didn't fall, she would become the strongest expert of the declined original devil race. She was pale with terror now. She didn't dare to call her initial C back into her dantian. Once she did, she would immediately be sensed by the heavenly deos, and her heavenly tribulation would fall upon her. Its power would be beyond her imagination. Don't be afraid. If the heavens collapse, I'll be there to help you hold them up. A voice suddenly rang out. It wasn't loud, but it filled her with warmth. Yu Ziaokian looked at Long Chen. He was still sitting on his pillar, a faint smile on his face. He gave her a victorious gesture. For some unknown reason, seeing his smile made her terror lessen a great deal. Long Chen's smile was full of confidence. Confidence that increased her own confidence. Taking a deep breath, she slowly formed hand seals. The key C behind her slowly calmed and began to surge into her dantian. She began to glow, and her heavenly deo runes automatically appeared around her. 
An innate rank three celestials heavenly deo runes. It's unknown how much of the heavenly tribulations power they can block, said one elder. It would be too regretful for such a genius to fall to heavenly tribulation. As she drew her key C into her dantian, everything was calm and steady. That showed how steady her heart was. It took a full two hours for her huge key C to completely return to her dantian. Once the last bit of power entered her body, a majestic aura surged into the sky. Thunder filled the air. Boundless tribulation clouds condensed in the sky, covering an area of 10,000 miles. Everyone's expressions turned pale as paper. Chapter 886 Lightning Tribulation Begins Translator Born to be what a terrifying aura. This pressure is on the same level as when we advanced to foundation forging, cried the tribe leaders. This pressure made them think of how they had narrowly managed to survive their own foundation forging tribulations. The tribulation clouds turned the world dark. The center of the tribulation clouds was over Uziokian, and it was constantly revolving. As the tribulation clouds revolved, energy condensed within them. The pressure was growing stronger and stronger. Some of the sea expansion experts even found it hard to breathe. They had also survived their sea expansion tribulations and the majority of them had already reached the mid-sea expansion realm. But such a terrifying heavenly tribulation still made them tremble. Heavens, what is Long Chen doing? Why isn't he activating the immortal condensing pillar's barrier to block the lightning? Does he not know how to? The stone tribe's experts saw that Long Chen was now standing on his pillar with his hands clasped behind his back. He was completely ignoring this terrifying tribulation. Long Chen, quickly activate the barrier. Otherwise, you'll be struck by lightning and killed, shouted one of the men from the stone tribe that Long Chen had drunk with. As soon as he shouted, Shi Kang slapped him on the back of his head. What are you spouting at this time? To say that he'll die during tribulation. Are you cursing him? Tribulation was already a dangerous situation. To say that someone would die during it was a curse. Stop shouting. The place Long Chen is at is within the heavenly tribulation. He can't hear your voice over the heaven's pressure, said the stone tribe's leader. The rumbling suddenly reached a peak, shaking heaven and earth, before suddenly becoming silent. Then a torrent of lightning crashed down. This torrent of lightning horrified all the aboriginals, as it was completely different from when they underwent tribulation. This was no ordinary thunder force. Each drop of lightning was a lightning rune, and when they crashed to the ground, smoke would come out and the ground would be chaired. The heavenly tribulation was supposed to be the weakest at the beginning, but even now that they had advanced to sea expansion, they wouldn't be able to last an incense stick's worth of time against this tribulation before dying. This terrifying torrent of lightning was just the first wave of Uziokian's tribulation. All their hearts sank in worry. A destructive aura filled the air. Uziokian stood in the air. A faint layer of light shone over her body. The lightning was blocked by that barrier, unable to harm her. That caused everyone to sigh with relief. If she was panicked at the first wave of lightning, then she would definitely fail in the end. That was something none of them wanted to see. Now that they saw Yu Ziaokian was easily blocking this torrent of lightning, they looked toward Long Chen. What? Everyone was startled to see Long Chen directly allow the tempest of lightning to land on his body. He seemed incredibly relaxed and indifferent. Monster. Even the foundation forging experts were shocked. Perhaps this lightning wouldn't be able to cause much damage to them, but they couldn't just allow the lightning to land on them forever without being injured. Long Chen bathed in the lightning. This little bit of thunder force was no different from ordinary rain to him. In fact, it was Lai Long that was growing uneasy, wanting to charge out. It was like a hungry beast that had encountered a fat sheep. But Long Chen didn't allow it to run amok. That would affect Yu Ziaokian's tribulation. And he didn't dare to cause any ripples in case the tribulation noticed him. So he simply allowed the lightning to fall on him as a taste for Lai Long. This thunder force wasn't enough food to even get stuck between Lai Long's teeth. It became more and more uneasy, but Long Chen refused to release it. However, Long Chen said that he would allow it to eat its fill soon. Only then did it calm back down. Bathed in the lightning, Long Chen suddenly sensed many other auras through the tribulation. The countless experts in the immemorial path were undergoing tribulation. Because they were all undergoing tribulation at the same time, Long Chen sensed several familiar auras, but he couldn't determine their exact location. He could only vaguely sense the power of their tribulations. He sensed Zhu Yu, Yu Changheo, and Wang Junmo's auras. They were also undergoing tribulation, and the intensity of it was not weaker than Yu Ziaokian's. That startled Long Chen. It seemed they had also run into their own fortuitous encounters. 
The existence known as karmic luck was too difficult to describe. The most startling thing was that he sensed other unfamiliar auras whose tribulations were just as strong as Zhu Yu and the others. It seemed he had underestimated the other experts. Many of them were low-key and waiting patiently. Their light had been drowned out by the light of others. But most importantly, they intentionally concealed their power. This way, they wouldn't be noticed as easily as other experts, and they could grow easier. But now that they were undergoing tribulation, they had revealed their fangs. He sensed quite a few extremely powerful tribulations. This meant that the Eastern Wasteland had actually been hiding several powerful experts. It was just unknown what kind of people they were. The lightning rain continued for over two hours before buzzing filled the air. The rain grew more and more concentrated, more and more powerful, in the end becoming huge beads the size of fists that mercilessly smashed down. The experts watching all felt a chill. These lightning beads were like cannonball shooting from the sky. If they allowed just one to land on their bodies, then even sea expansion experts would be at least heavily injured upon being struck, if not killed outright. The light barrier around Yu Ziaokian's body was becoming unsteady under the attack of the lightning beads. She clearly didn't have it as easy as before, but that light barrier didn't shatter, so she was still out of danger. Looking at Long Chen, the others were speechless. He was still standing there like he didn't even sense the lightning beads smashing into his body. Big brother Long Chen is amazing. He can ignore such terrifying lightning. Xiao Fei's eyes were full of worship as he stared at Long Chen. In all the Xiao tribe's experts' eyes, Long Chen was a true king. Perhaps only they knew just how strong and domineering Long Chen was. The tribulation cloud suddenly changed once more. They had originally been static, but now they began to revolve. As they revolved, the lightning beads disappeared. Spears of lightning began shooting down from the sky. The true heavenly tribulation starts now. Each of the lightning spears was 30 meters long and contained a fierce, destructive aura. They could kill any of the sea expansion experts watching. Yu Ziaokian's expression finally turned grave. She formed hand seals, and her heavenly Dao runes wrapped around her. She no longer passively defended, but began launching attacks. Some of her three-colored heavenly Dao runes formed a 30-meter barrier around her, while the rest formed thousands of flying swords that attacked the lightning spears. When the lightning spears and flying swords clashed, they instantly exploded, but each destroyed lightning spear was replaced with another. As for Yu Ziaokian, when her runic flying swords were destroyed, she drew out more of the heavenly Dao runes energy to form new swords. An awe-inspiring clash of swords and spears took place in the sky. The lightning spears were like rain crashing toward the earth, but Yu Ziaokian was able to fight against them. Her initial sea had already formed, so the key sea in her danshan had grown by a thousand times. This was the most terrifying part of sea expansion. Compared to before, she had a thousand times more spiritual key. This immense consumption was nothing for her. Seeing that Yu Ziaokian was still able to hold on under such a terrifying tribulation, the others were full of praise. They hoped to personally see a supreme genius with a key sea of 3,000 miles pass her tribulation. They no longer felt the slightest dissatisfaction at being summoned by Lord Heavenly. Just being able to see such a shocking tribulation was worth it. Feeling this terrifying pressure and will was a valuable experience for them. It would be helpful to their own future tribulations. Heavens. Suddenly. One of the stone race's women let out a startled cry. Previously, everyone had been focused on Yu Ziaokian, but now that they looked toward Long Chen, they jumped in shock. Long Chen was still completely at ease. That woman had just seen a lightning spear crash onto Long Chen's body, so she hadn't been able to hold back her startled cry. Everyone's gazes turned to Long Chen. Personally seeing a lightning spear explode upon striking Long Chen, their eyes almost popped out. That calm expression of his caused their hearts to pound. That's way too monstrous. Quite a few people gulped. This was no ordinary thunder force, but the Nine Heavens Tribulation Thunder Force. Chapter 887 No matter what happens, I'm here translator. Born to be this level of lightning tribulation wasn't something Long Chen had to dodge. In fact, its power greatly dissatisfied Lai Long. It was like someone about to die from dehydration was only allowed to drink water drop by drop but there was no way around that. Long Chen didn't dare to expose himself during Yu Ziaokian's lightning tribulation. The slightest fluctuation might be sensed by the heavenly Deos. Time passed bit by bit. They were shocked to see that this tribulation endured for a whole day and night, and the lightning spears only grew stronger. From their original 30 meters, they had grown to 300 meters each. Each attack was powerful, and the scope had also increased. 
the aboriginals had no choice but to go further back. Long Chen was like a mountain the entire time. No matter how strong the tribulation grew, he was still so indifferent. The experts watching were numb now. They felt like all their shock had already been used up. No one bothered with the monster known as Long Chen. Instead, they just stared at Yu Ziaokian, who was standing in the air, facing this heavenly tribulation. They wished for her to pass this tribulation. Then they would have borne witness to the birth of a legend. Long Chen was also watching Yu Ziaokian closely. The thunder force was growing even stronger, and Long Chen was no longer able to sense other people's tribulations. He was completely focused on Yu Ziaokian. Suddenly, the lightning spears disappeared. Those tribulation clouds shook, and lightning beasts charged down at Yu Ziaokian. Each of those lightning beasts was like a small mountain. Heavens, what's going on? These aboriginals had never seen lightning tribulation transform like this. Seeing these lightning beasts, Long Chen's eyes narrowed. This was the true challenge. Whether Yu Ziaokian could succeed depended on this moment. The lightning beasts came in all kinds of forms. Some were birds, some were beasts, and some were even fish. It was a veritable sea of beasts. Seeing these innumerable lightning beasts charging toward her, Yu Ziaokian's heart turned cold. She could feel just how powerful each one of them was. Without her core energy, it didn't seem like she would be able to defeat Chiringtham. There were so many of them as to cause despair. Don't be afraid. I'm here. Just do your best and if you can't hold on, I'll take action. Long Chen's voice rang in her ears. Even at this time, his voice was so calm. Even she didn't understand why hearing his voice made her confidence increase by so much. The runes around Yu Ziaokian formed a huge figure that stood like a god behind her. Her sword slashed forward. The illusory figure mimicked her movements. Its terrifying power destroyed the first few lightning beasts, transforming them into lightning runes. How powerful. The aboriginals' jaws dropped. This endless sea of lightning beasts had made them despair. The power of this tribulation had already surpassed their foundation forging tribulations. Who could survive this? Seeing Yu Ziaokian kill three of them in one move, they cheered. They saw hope. But Long Chen didn't cheer. Instead, he was worried. This magical art was Yu Ziaokian's strongest move. She had relied on this move to allow them to escape from the flame devil. She had now condensed her key C. However, the power of this figure was weaker than when she had used it before. He estimated that it had around 70% of its original power. If Yu Ziaokian could use her core energy, handling these lightning beasts wouldn't have been too difficult. But her core energy was exhausted and couldn't be recovered here. Even if her core energy had been present, she wouldn't have dared to undergo tribulation in this world. Because she wouldn't have been able to conceal her core energy under the heavenly tribulation. Right now. Yu Ziaokian only possessed 70% of her peak combat power. Thus, these lightning beasts posed a deadly threat to her. Yu Ziaokian's sword danced, and the lightning beasts were killed one by one, unable to stop her sword. However, their number only continued to increase. Yu Ziaokian was in a crisis now, being completely submerged by a sea of lightning beasts. Boom. Suddenly, Yu Ziaokian's sword pointed toward the sky. Countless ripples flowed out of its tip forcing back the closest lightning beasts. She used that opportunity to escape their enclosure and continue killing. But there were still too many of them. Yu Ziaokian was quickly surrounded once more, and she had no choice but to release her magical art again. Fortunately, having condensed her initial C, she had plenty of spiritual Yuan. Otherwise, doing this twice would have completely exhausted her energy. Although it was extremely dangerous, Yu Ziaokian managed to ensure that she wouldn't be defeated. She went all out killing these lightning beasts. Seeing her sweat as she struggled against these beasts made Long Chen's heart ache. But unless it reached the point of no return, he didn't dare interfere. Although his own cultivation base hadn't reached that realm yet, he was aware of the conventional cultivation path. Once a cultivator broke through to sea expansion and condensed their initial sea, it would bring down the baptism of heavenly tribulation. This was a trial and also a law. Only through the trial of the heavenly tribulation would the initial C be accepted by the heavenly deos and become the true key C. If it wasn't able to accept the baptism of heavenly tribulation, the initial C wouldn't have the world's approval and would quickly evaporate. Yu Ziaokian would once more fall back to the Xi'anshan realm, and it wasn't as easy as simply trying again. It would be many, many times more difficult for her to advance again. So unless Yu Ziaokian was on the verge of losing her life, he wouldn't interfere. He could only watch anxiously. 
there were many times where Uzziah Okian was sent flying by a lightning beast and coughed up blood that he wanted to charge forward, but his rationality suppressed that urge. However, one thing comforted Long Chen. Although there was a sea of lightning beasts in the air now, there were no longer any new lightning beasts coming down from the sky. Ziaokian, there are only going to be this many lightning beasts. Once you kill them all, you'll pass, encouraged Long Chen. Yu Ziaokian finally had a target. Her morale surged, and she continued using her magical arts to kill the lightning beasts. This battle took a long time. Over half a day, the lightning beasts' numbers fell. The last one was finally killed by Yu Ziaokian. Good everyone cheered when the last one was killed, but their cheering was quickly cut short by a heaven-shaking roar. A huge, mile-long lightning beast descended from the sky. Its lightning runes were glaringly bright, making it look like the sun. What? Even Lord Heavenly's expression changed. This lightning beast's aura was too terrifying. Despair appeared in Yu Ziaokian's eyes. The intensity of this lightning tribulation was abnormal. It was endless, and it refused to allow her to live. As she examined the huge lightning beast, she suddenly looked at herself and bitterly smiled. Long Chen, I thought I was smart, but I think I've been sensed by the heavenly deos. When this lightning beast appeared, Yu Ziaokian felt her exhausted core energy release a slight but strange fluctuation. That made her guess that tricking the heavenly deos wasn't as easy as she had thought. Don't be afraid. Our plan won't fail. It's just a slight change. I have plenty of experience with handling this kind of lightning beast. And I'll tell you its weak points. Shouted Long Chen. Long Chen had fought against lightning for so long now. Especially tribulation lightning. He was an expert in this. And he had also seen all kinds of lightning beasts. His knowledge in this aspect was enough to compile an encyclopedia. Most importantly, this lightning beast was one he had personally seen before. It was a huge scorpion with a long tail. Where its pincers were supposed to be were a pair of huge claws. This was what had appeared in the end during his meridian opening tribulation. Although their size was completely different, their shape was the exact same. They were clearly one breed noveloon.com at that time. He had almost died to it. It was only with Lai Long's help that he had managed to defeat Chiringit in the end. Once he had defeated it, the primal chaos space had allowed him to seal it so that Lai Long could refine it, and that was what had allowed his lightning serpent to transform into a lightning python. Yu Ziaokian charged toward the lightning scorpion. She appeared above it, and it instinctively charged up. But as soon as it did, Yu Ziaokian stopped. The scorpion's stomach was wide open to her. Devil heart pierce. Yu Ziaokian's sword stabbed forward, but it landed on nothing. At first, people were startled. But then the huge figure behind Yu Ziaokian also stabbed its sword forward, striking a certain glowing part of the lightning scorpion's abdomen. Boom. In front of everyone's wide open eyes, that incredibly powerful scorpion shattered into pieces from one attack. Ha ha ha, success. Everyone cheered. The tribulation cloud slowly condensed, forming a huge rune. This was the last step. This rune represented the approval of the heavenly deos. As long as Yu Ziaokian absorbed this rune, her initial sea would become completely stable, and she would become a true sea expansion expert. Just as Yu Ziaokian was full of joy and preparing to accept this rune, rumbling filled the entire memorial path. Every sea expansion expert present couldn't help but vomit a mouthful of blood as a terrifying shockwave struck them. Chapter 888 Terrifying Lightning Tribulation Long Chen's Fury Translator, born to be Lord Heaven he looked up at the sky with shock. Countless lines began to circulate within his white eyes, and inconceivable words came out of his mouth. Experts from another world broke through the dome of the sky and forcibly sent four people here. Everyone was horrified. How was that possible? Who could possibly possess enough power to break the laws of the heavens and send someone into the immemorial path? Ziaokian, quickly absorb your rune, shouted Long Chen. Only now did Yu Ziaokian react and hastily fly up into the sky. She didn't need to wait for the rune to descend upon her. She could take the initiative to merge with it. Just at this moment, a voice rang out. HMPH, undergoing tribulation with a bunch of ants is practically an insult. That voice was icy, its tone seeming to say that only he was supreme. This voice resounded throughout the air. The aboriginals were all horrified and looked up at the sky. Four figures were standing above the heavens in the center of the immemorial path. Their bodies were covered in flames so it was impossible to see them clearly. They were like gods above the heavens. Don't bother with it too much. Gods and ants exist in the same world. There's nothing to be done. Now that the heavenly Deo energy here has been activated by the ants, 
It's perfect for us to undergo tribulation. Don't waste any more time. Another arrogant voice rang out. Boom. Four incomparably powerful auras erupted. The immemorial path had begun calming down as people's tribulations ended. But now it became chaotic once more. Furthermore, their auras were even grander than when those countless experts had been undergoing their tribulations. Are they even human? How could they possess such terrifying auras? Almost all the experts within the immemorial path had already finished their tribulations. They looked up at the sky in horror. These auras are still in the Xi'anchen realm. But how could they be so powerful? Are they gods? These four people's auras caused the immemorial path to rumble. Endless tribulations clouds gathered over them, making it look like the world was ending. Xiaokian, careful. Long Chen suddenly shouted. Just as Yu Xiaokian touched her rune, heaven and earth's energy began to rage. Her rune flew toward the tribulation clouds, toward the four of them. Yu Xiaokian panicked. This was something she had won through immense danger. If this rune was taken away, all her efforts would be wasted. Thus, she went to grab the rune. The tribulation clouds continued to condense. Yu Xiaokian's body shook, and she coughed up a mouthful of blood that dyed her robes red. But she grabbed her rune, refusing to allow it to fly away. Oh, there's still an ant. He, still lacking the final step? Stupid. One of those godlike people sneered. They continued releasing their auras, preparing for their tribulations. They didn't care the slightest bit about Yu Xiaokian. Friends, can you be generous and pause your tribulations for a moment? Let my friend grab her heavenly Dao rune, or all her previous efforts will be wasted, said Long Chen to those figures in the air. Long Chen had activated the nine star hegemon body art, and each of his words was shouted using his immense spiritual yuan. His voice rang throughout the sky. Ants don't have the qualifications to speak. Don't waste our time. If you irritate me, be careful of me destroying you in passing, said an icy voice. Yu Xiaokian had a hold on her rune, but it was still being drawn into the tribulation clouds. She did her best to hold on. She was the scion of the original devil race, their only hope of changing their future. Long Chen was panicked and infuriated. At this moment, he couldn't help Yu Xiaokian. Once her heavenly Dao rune was infected by his aura, it would dissipate to nothing. Original ancestor, please, hear your descendants call. Bestow me my bloodline power. Yu Xiaokian's face was pale. She had no core energy left, but she forcibly summoned her bloodline power. The rune in her hand suddenly escaped the pool of the tribulation clouds and merged into Yu Xiaokian's body. Yu Xiaokian immediately collapsed from the sky. A pair of arms caught her. Her face was pale without the slightest bit of color. The light in her eyes had dimmed a great deal. Xiaokian, Long Chen felt a burst of pain. I, succeeded. Long Chen, I'm happy. Yu Xiaokian was exhausted, but she was still delighted. Long Chen nodded. He suddenly flew over to the Xiao tribe's people and handed Yu Xiaokian to Xiaoling. Then he charged back up the immortal condensing pillar. Long Chen, what are you planning on doing? It's not a good time for you to undergo tribulation. Their terrifying tribulation will affect you, shouted Lord Heavenly. That's fine. If they want to play, then I'll accompany them. Let's see just whose tribulation will be affecting whose. Long Chen slapped his hand on the immortal condensing pillar. The entire pillar shattered. In front of everyone's dumbfounded gazes, Long Chen absorbed all the pillar's runes into his body. Has he gone crazy? The seniors felt like their eyes were about to pop out. As long as the immortal condensing pillar's runes were activated, it would have an effect. However, there had been no record of anyone trying to absorb those runes into their bodies. Who knew what the terrifying consequences would be? This wasn't any different than suicide. Big Brother Long Chen is furious. Xiao Fei clenched his fists. Xiao Ling helped Yu Xiaokian into a chair. Although she had managed to snatch her heavenly Dao rune and truly entered sea expansion, she was incredibly weak now. After absorbing all the immortal condensing pillar spirit gathering runes, Long Chen soared into the sky. Idiots, I'll let you see just who the ant is. Long Chen's furious row resounded throughout the sky. Boom. As Long Chen fully activated the nine star hegemon body art, the world's spiritual key poured toward him. Rumbling came from Long Chen's body as though shackles had been broken. A terrifying aura soared into the sky. As Long Chen broke through, the world was silent for a moment. Very soon, the entire immemorial path began to quiver as a destructive aura filled the heavens. Is this the end of the world? Sensing that destructive aura, people found that no matter where they were, they were under a terrifying pressure. Their bodies involuntarily quivered. Some people had already dug their way into the ground to conceal themselves. 
the fury of the heavens desired to destroy this entire world. All the people in the immemorial path were terrified. Many of them didn't know what was going on, but they all knew something horrifying was happening. Those four figures were still immersed within lightning. At this moment, the lightning around them began to surge as if it had been affected by something. It was no longer steady. Heavenly tribulation, don't make me look down on you. Let me see just how much power you have. Long Chen released his powerful will as well, one that wished to fight against the heavenly deos. As if hearing Long Chen's provocation, the heavenly tribulation in the whole immemorial path surged toward him. It was absolutely endless. Even those four figures were enveloped by his tribulation. Brat, you're courting death, shouted one of the four. Those four were wrapped in flames, being surrounded by some kind of formation that made it so they couldn't move. They could only undergo their tribulations within the flames. Long Chen's actions had infuriated them. They considered this a provocation from him, and they were unable to accept such a thing. The ones courting death are you, sneered Long Chen. The tribulation clouds around him grew denser. Their scope could no longer be described. They covered the entire world in darkness, and their thickness was over a hundred miles. Long Chen even sensed the surrounding space solidify. Even like this, Long Chen still wasn't satisfied. He suddenly took the initiative to charge into the lightning tribulation and punch it. Boom. A terrifying astral wind blew apart the tribulation's clouds. Long Chen continued punching, and the condensing tribulation clouds were pulverized by him. The aboriginals below felt their scalps turn numb. Long Chen had definitely gone crazy. Was he afraid that the heavenly tribulation wouldn't be strong enough? So he was intentionally provoking it? Since ancient times, every person revered the heavens. Each time they underwent tribulation, they were careful and respectful. Who dared to take the initiative to attack the heavenly tribulation? As expected, following Long Chen's actions, the heavens were enraged. A terrifying destructive will descended, and people were horrified to see cracks appear in the ground. Energy poured out of them and into the tribulation clouds. All the immemorial path's experts were dumbfounded. Whether it was the eastern, western, southern, northern, or even the central section, they all sensed that terrifying phenomenon. With all of heaven and earth's energy gathering, the heavens were blocking any form of mental probing. Other than the closest aboriginals, no one else could see what was happening any longer. All they knew was that something incredibly major was happening inside the immemorial path. Seeing this, Lord Heavenly suddenly ordered everyone to retreat further. Lord Heavenly, if we retreat any further, we won't be able to see anything at all, grumbled Shaofei. At this distance, they weren't even able to see Long Chen's figure anymore. The surrounding heavenly Dao energy was blocking their line of sight. Stop wasting words. Not being able to see Long Chen for now is better than Long Chen never being able to see us ever again. This level of heavenly tribulation is heaven defying. Whoever wants to live better retreat, shouted Lord Heavenly. Boom. Just as they were retreating, the void suddenly shook. Endless lightning filled the spot Long Chen was at. Chapter 889 Lightning Sea Devours the Heavens Translator Born to be heaven and earth rumbled and lightning filled the sky. From a distance, it looked like the spot Long Chen was at had been submerged in a sea of lightning. The immemorial path quivered. Lord Heavenly and the others stood far off in the distance, unable to speak in the face of that terrifying lightning sea. Shaofei began to sweat and no longer grumbled about not being able to see. Anyone who wasn't blind would be able to clearly see this terrifying lightning sea. Even from such a distance, they could feel the berserk energy within the lightning sea. Even foundation forging experts sensed the threat of death from that lightning. If they entered this tribulation, they would definitely die. There's not the slightest bit of life energy in this lightning. On a fundamental scale, it refuses to give anyone a path to life. With its aura being entirely destructive, this is no longer heavenly tribulation, but heavenly punishment, cried a shocked elder. Heavenly tribulation was just a law to wash out the weak. No matter how dazzling and intense the lightning tribulation, it always left behind a trace of life energy. But Long Chen's heavenly tribulation was filled entirely with a berserk destructive will. It was clearly intent on obliterating him. Is this the result of Long Chen provoking the heavenly tribulation? Lord Heavenly shook his head. Heavenly tribulation is a part of the heavenly deos. It has no life, nor does it have any emotions to speak of. How could it have become angry? Long Chen has simply intentionally broken the heavenly tribulations process, forcing it to advance to the next level while not having released its previous power. That's making its power superimpose. But even so, laws are just laws, and this kind of situation should never occur. 
This heavenly tribulation is fundamentally not allowing Long Chen to pass. Lord Heavenly's eyes were locked onto that sea of lightning. There was a figure bathed in that lightning, full of an undefeatable will that was clashing against the will of the heavenly Deos. Yu Ziaokian had consumed medicinal pills and recovered a bit of her energy. Although she was still pale, she could now stand. She nervously looked at that figure. She knew that Long Chen was doing this because of her. He was getting revenge on those four figures, making them pay a price for their actions. The feeling of being protected was a warm one, but she was also incredibly worried. Long Chen's temper was too explosive. This was far too dangerous. The first wave of the tribulation is already so powerful. How strong will it grow later? The thunder force was like a sea, its lightning runes surging like the tide, rumbling with heaven and earth. This kind of scene was something that they hadn't dared to imagine ever in their lives. As Long Chen's heavenly tribulation erupted, those four people wrapped in the flames were also affected. They were startled to find that their own tribulations were growing stronger because of Long Chen's influence. An ant's fury is laughable. Did you think that by infuriating the heavenly tribulation, you could bring us down with you? Foolish to the pinnacle, laughed one of them. It was unknown just which of the four had spoken these words. These four were extremely strange. Ever since they had broken through the void to appear here, each one of them had a whirlpool above their heads. Those were like four portals that had allowed them to break into this world. Breaking through the barrier between worlds and sending four experts here to undergo tribulation was a shocking ability, one that was hard to imagine. Even an idiot would know that these four had to possess terrifying backgrounds. However, Long Chen didn't give a damn about their origins. In order to show off their arrogance, these four hadn't given a damn about Yu Ziaokian's life or death. In the end, Yu Ziaokian had exhausted a huge amount of her blood essence to snatch back her heavenly Dao rune. Her miserable state still burned his heart. If they wanted to play, then they had better be ready to play. He had absorbed all the immortal condensing pillars runes, as well as actively attacked the tribulation. This heavenly tribulation's intensity was beyond belief now. Although this was impetuous and not a smart decision, Long Chen had never thought himself to be a wise sage. All he knew was that whoever hurt the people by his side would have to pay a price. That was the typical conduct of a fool. But Long Chen had always acted like that. They seemed to be talking. The aboriginals could only barely sense some fluctuations from them. Their voices were completely drowned out by the booming thunder of the tribulations. Long Chen seemed to not hear the mysterious expert's words. Flying higher into the air, he suddenly reached toward the sky and pulled. A whirlpool appeared over his head, and it instantly grew. Endless lightning crashed down on him. What? Even Lord Heavenly jumped in shock. Instead of doing something to block the lightning, Long Chen acted like he still hadn't gotten his fill. He took the initiative to absorb the thunder force pouring out of the whirlpool. Lai Long cried out in delight. It crazily devoured all the thunder force pouring into Long Chen's body. It was like a bottomless pit, able to take in as much energy as available. In this manner, Long Chen allowed Lai Long to absorb thunder force faster than when it acted on its own. This kind of scattered thunder force wasn't like the lightning beasts. It was just simple lightning. With Long Chen's assistance, Lai Long quickly absorbed the huge sea of lightning in less than two hours. Heaven and Earth returned to calm. The aboriginals were all dumbfounded. What was going on? The tribulation had been passed just like this? Hand over your energy. Long Chen shouted and suddenly charged into the tribulation clouds. Attacking them with his fists Novaloon.com the lightning clouds had originally been brewing. But once Long Chen scattered a huge mass of them, they were even thicker than before when they regathered. As for the four mysterious experts wrapped in flames, the thunder force attacking them once more increased. Fool. Idiot. Incurable. Plebeian. Each one of the mysterious experts spat out a disdainful snort. All four of them were men. The four of them were truly terrifying. Even immersed in this lightning, they didn't have to take any action to block it. This level of thunder force was clearly nothing to them. So they looked down on Long Chen's actions. Lord Heavenly, just who are they? Asked Xiao Fei. Everyone greatly wanted to know this. They are peerless geniuses. Their power has surpassed your imaginations. Perhaps only such people are worthy of supreme powers paying such an immense price to forcibly send them here to undergo tribulation. Lord Heavenly sighed. A complicated expression on his face. His heaven eyes had clearly seen through some secrets. Boom. Suddenly, rumbling cut off their conversation. Lightning swords began to shoot down from the sky at Long Chen. Each one of them was huge. Over 300 meters long. But Long Chen continued to tear into the sky. 
the huge whirlpool still existed above him, and he actually began to absorb those terrifying lightning swords. People felt like they were going crazy. They had never seen someone undergo tribulation like this. The lightning swords flooded toward Long Chen and were all absorbed by him. The four of them are also affected, shouted Xiao Fei. Everyone hastily looked to see the thunder force attacking the four of them had also transformed into lightning swords. Long Chen's tribulation was affecting them. Although they were up in the void and the distance between them was impossible to estimate, they were still affected. Long Chen ignored what was happening over there as his mood was getting better now. Lai Long was too amazing. No matter how much thunder force he fed it, it would absorb it and grow stronger. Long Chen knew that heavenly tribulation was weakest at the start. Therefore, this was the best time to absorb thunder force. He had to absorb as much as possible now before it grew to the point where he couldn't absorb it. The lightning swords eventually disappeared. The tribulation clouds above Long Chen's head actually linked together with the four experts' tribulation clouds. They formed one huge mass of tribulation clouds that covered the entire world. Originally, each of them was undergoing their own tribulation. But now the situation had suddenly changed. All their tribulation clouds had connected, and the pressure immediately grew by hundreds of times. Retreat again, shouted Lord Heavenly. At this point, some of the sea expansion experts were quivering, feeling like they were about to be crushed. Within every inch of the immemorial path, experts were looking in horror at the central area. They were unable to see anything, but they could sense all the immemorial path's energy converging in that location. Terrifying fluctuations were spreading from there. This tribulation was too powerful, and it isolated all other auras. The other experts in the immemorial path could only tell something exceedingly terrifying was happening at the center of the immemorial path. However, they didn't dare to probe it. All of them had just endured their own tribulations. Many had been killed, and of those that had succeeded, the majority had only survived with half their lives. They didn't dare to do anything risky at this moment. They could only heal and sense what was happening. Suddenly, the tribulation clouds trembled. Endless lightning beasts began to fall from the sky, each of them 300 meters long and incomparably fierce. Chapter 890 Lightning Dragon Devours All Beasts Translator Born to be seeing those lightning beasts, Yu Ziaokian's heart clenched. The lightning beasts she had fought during her own tribulation gave her a profound understanding of how terrifying they were. The last one had been especially powerful. And even though there had only been one, if Long Chen hadn't told her its weaknesses, she wouldn't have been able to handle it. But these lightning beasts were packed together and endless, because it was impossible to grasp their numbers. Even knowing their weaknesses was useless. Just how were you supposed to take advantage of those weaknesses when they were packed together in such numbers? In front of this sea of beasts, any strategy, any technique would be useless and impossible to use. There was only one option, to use power to beat power. Long Chen's tribulation clouds had now joined with the other four experts' tribulation clouds to form a mass of supreme tribulation clouds. They were absolutely endless. As for the lightning beasts, they were like water spurting out of a broken dam. They poured down from the sky. Seeing Long Chen enveloped by the sea of lightning beasts, everyone's hearts rose into their throats. Yu Ziaokian's palms were already covered in sweat. Come out and gorge yourself. Long Chen laughed. A dragon roar suddenly rang out and a three-mile-long lightning dragon appeared. Its huge body released a majestic aura. Lai Long's body had originally just been one mile long, but after absorbing the lightning tribulation, it had tripled in size. Its lightning runes were circulating with an even fiercer power. Long Chen jumped onto Lai Long's head. Lai Long once more roared, opening its mouth and beginning to devour the lightning beasts. There were too many lightning beasts, but to the huge Lai Long, they were nothing more than rabbits. With each mouthful, it devoured five or six of them. The most interesting thing was that the lightning beasts only had eyes for Long Chen. They didn't attack Lai Long, allowing it to devour them. They only knew how to struggle, but not to counterattack. Laws were laws. They weren't flexible. Lai Long came from heavenly tribulation, so these heavenly tribulation beasts didn't recognize it as an enemy. When the lightning beasts came charging at Long Chen, Lai Long would simply swing its tail, and they would be sent flying. In terms of power, these beasts were a far cry from Lai Long. Lai Long was like a dragon swimming through a sea, easily devouring the closest beasts. The lightning beasts were unable to approach Long Chen. Long Chen could just stand at up Lai Long's head and watch as the lightning beasts were devoured. He felt Lai Long's own power slowly increasing. The aboriginals' jaws all dropped. Their eyes almost popped out. If they weren't personally seeing this, they wouldn't believe it. 
Many people wanted to say something, but they found that no words were able to express their current thoughts. In the end, nothing came out of their mouths. Yu Ziaokian looked up at the grand and majestic Long Chen with adoration. In this world where only strength was respected, the stronger the man, the greater their charm. That was especially true when this man had risked his life and was now settling a debt with mysterious experts for her. Long Chen was surrounded by countless lightning beasts, but the mysterious experts were also being attacked by countless lightning beasts. They could no longer remain as indifferent as before. People were unable to see their movements clearly because the divine flames around them blocked their sight. But in any case, those lightning beasts were all destroyed as soon as they got close to them. It seemed that they still had it extremely easy. Heavens, one of the aboriginals suddenly shouted, causing everyone else who was watching with rapt attention to jump. What are you shouting for? Raged someone. No, do you not notice something strange? Said that person. Something strange. Fuck, how could I not notice this lightning tribulation is strange? No, think about it. Long Chen's already in his lightning tribulation. He, he didn't expand his initial C yet. Hearing him say this, everyone fell silent, looking at each other. It seemed they had truly missed that detail. Could it be? Long Chen really hadn't condensed his initial C before undergoing tribulation? Did he forget? They were speechless. But they really couldn't figure it out. Just who would possibly forget such an important step? Furthermore, if he hadn't condensed his initial C, how did he draw on the heavenly tribulation? What was going on? No one could explain it. Not even Lord Heavenly or someone as learned as Yu Ziaokian. Let alone them. Even Long Chen couldn't understand. In any case, he knew one rule about the nine-star hegemon body art. As long as he passed his tribulation, he would definitely advance. Who cared about expanding the sea? One hour, two hours, three hours. Time passed bit by bit as Lai Long's body was growing larger and stronger. After a whole day had passed, it had grown to seven miles. Seven miles. That was a huge monster. As Lai Long grew larger, its power increased and its devouring speed also multiplied. After this whole day, the lightning beasts finally stopped coming down from the sky, allowing people to relax. At this moment, Lai Long was still swimming through the air, devouring the few remaining lightning beasts. From the start until now, Long Chen hadn't done anything to resist the lightning tribulation. That easy manner of his made it look like he was just playing a game, not undergoing tribulation. Fool, using a devil item to absorb the heavenly tribulation is just an inferior cheating method. Ants really are ants only capable of using the most contemptible tricks. Suddenly, a sneer came from one of the four experts. They had already killed all the lightning beasts around them, and it seemed that it hadn't taken any effort. Devil item, Long Chen sneered. He saw through some of their secrets. These four were wrapped in divine flames, and the flames should be their method to break through the spatial walls. While they were wrapped in them, others couldn't see their figures clearly, but the same issue could also be applied to their sight. They could only vaguely sense things and so they thought Lai Long was a special tool used to trick the heavenly deos. Where did you four bumpkins come from? Now that you've come here, you want to act grand? If you had any guts at all, you wouldn't hide in your tortoise shells. Come out and fight, sneered Long Chen. Right now, the first wave of the tribulation had just ended, and there was a bit of time to say a few words before the next wave came. Long Chen was very curious about their origins. Brazen and, you don't have the qualifications to know our origins. You should bless your fortune that were wrapped in these divine flames. Otherwise, a single finger from this lord would crush you, shouted one of them. Don't bother bragging. If it weren't for your tortoise shell, you would have had your crap crushed out of you when you broke into this world. Who do you think you're trying to trick? Although Long Chen didn't quite understand everything about them, he wasn't so easily tricked. These four had clearly used some kind of divine energy to break through the walls of this world. But even though the world's barrier had been broken, not just anyone could get through. At the very least, it wasn't something that mere Zianshan experts could survive. Although these people's auras were powerful, they were still undergoing their sea expansion tribulations. If it weren't for the protection of the divine flames, they would have been crushed by the power of spatial pressure upon breaking into this world. So Long Chen didn't fear them. And, you're courting death, raged one of them. Cowards, wait until you grow up and come out of your shells before saying such vicious words laughed Long Chen. Boom. Just at this moment, the tribulation clouds once more shook. Huge lightning beasts descended from the sky, each of them being a mile long. This time, there weren't that many, but there were still over a thousand of them. They charged at Long Chen. 
these lightning beasts were on the same level as the final lightning beast that had appeared in Uzziokian's Tribulation Noveloon.com but Uzziokian had only had to deal with one, while Long Chen had over a thousand of them. Uzziokian was pale, and everyone else was also nervous. These lightning beasts were too terrifying. Boom. One of those lightning beasts had only just gotten close when Lai Long bit into it. It was too huge for Lai Long to devour in one bite. Furthermore, it was also struggling, making it so Lai Long couldn't smoothly swallow it. Just at this moment, another lightning beast charged at Long Chen. Its huge claw was the size of a small mountain as it smashed toward Long Chen. A blood-colored saber appeared in Long Chen's hands. A huge saber image whistled through the air. The huge lightning beast was cleanly cut in two by Long Chen's saber. This attack caused everyone to be dumbfounded. Long Chen hadn't used any battle skill. With just brute force, he had killed it. Lai Long, spit it out. Eat the one I killed, shouted Long Chen. Lai Long was trying to devour a lightning beast, but it was stuck in its throat and struggling. Lai Long wasn't able to swallow it. Hearing this, Lai Long spat it out and directly went to devour the lightning beast Long Chen had killed. But it was one step too late, and the lightning beast transformed into lightning runes that dissipated. Lai Long's fierce bite only managed to get a very small portion of those runes. Don't worry, work with me. Long Chen shouted and Blood Drinker began to rumble. It's runes lighting. He charged at those lightning beasts. Chapter 891 Berserk Lightning Battle Warriors Translator Born to be the huge lightning beasts were slashed apart by Long Chen one by one. Each one of them was killed in just one blow. Blood Drinker, you really are amazing. Long Chen was delighted by Blood Drinker. As long as he gave it the slightest bit of his spiritual yuan, Bloodrinker would release its specific sharp aura. The terrifying lightning beasts were easily cut down. Now Bloodrinker had truly awoken. Long Chen hadn't even known that it was so powerful before. Each bit of his spiritual yuan was being transformed into killing power. This weapon that had come from the barbarian race's expert was definitely extraordinary. As Long Chen killed the lightning beasts, Lai Long was behind him taking advantage. When they were cut down, before their runes could scatter, it would devour them in one gulp. These huge lightning beasts contained incomparably pure thunder force. If those previous lightning beasts were likened to rice, then these huge beasts were like meat to Lai Long. Long Chen swept through the air, blood-colored saber images flashing in the sky. Each attack killed a lightning beast. Sometimes there would be too many lightning beasts for Long Chen to handle, and Lai Long would swing its tail, knocking them back and giving Long Chen space. In this manner, Long Chen's dominance could not be stopped. It had been a long time since Long Chen had felt this satisfying feeling of using all his power to attack with a heavy weapon. Big brother Long Chen is amazing, cried Xiao Fei. He had always treated Long Chen as his idol. He hoped to become a domineering expert like him one day. Who cared about heavenly tribulation? Who cared about the heavenly deos? Even in front of heavenly tribulation, Long Chen wasn't afraid. He was fighting against the very heavens forcing them to submit to him. The other experts were affected by his imposingness and clenched their fists, their own hot blood surging. They had been suppressed here by the heavenly deos for countless years. Moreover, they had to face the scheming, robbing, and killing of the invaders. They had long since grown dissatisfied with this world, but they didn't have the bravery to fight against the heavens. They were dissatisfied, but they didn't dare fight. However, Long Chen's display showed them what a true domineeringness was. His domineeringness even caused those old seniors to feel a passion they hadn't felt in many, many years. Each lightning beast he killed was like another shackle he broke through. He advanced dauntlessly. I want to fight the heavens too. I'll exterminate these merciless and unfair heavenly deos. Whatever tries to stop me, I'll cut them down. Suddenly, a young sea expansion expert began to shout. He came from the stone tribe, and he had drunk with Long Chen quite a few times. His eyes were red, and he charged out startling everyone. That person had only just flown out when the stone tribe's leader slapped the back of his head, making him collapse on the ground. Just watch. Don't get drawn in too deeply. Being domineering and being suicidal are two different concepts. Long Chen is domineering now, but if you went, you'd be suicidal, he shouted. He felt a bit helpless. The stone tribe's warriors all possessed one-track minds. Having drunk and laughed with Long Chen before, they found him to be their kind of people and they were now like brothers. Hence, they were receiving the greatest influence from Long Chen. It was unknown whether that foolish fellow hadn't sobered up from his drinking for him to actually want to charge into Long Chen's tribulation to fight against the heavens. The heavenly deos can't be opposed? 
the heavenly deos can't be disobeyed? Perhaps that's not true for all people. Lord Heavenly looked at Long Chen. He extended his hands and touched his middle finger to his thumb several times. It seemed he was calculating something, but in the end, he sighed and pulled back his hands. Heavens, are those people also monsters? They're also killing the lightning beasts in one attack. While their attention was drawn to Long Chen, they forgot about the four mysterious experts. They were slaughtering the lightning beasts as well. And just like Long Chen, each time they attacked, a lightning beast would definitely fall. Just who are they? These people have been sent here specifically to undergo their tribulations. They want to absorb as much thunder force as possible. My guess is that they finished condensing their initial seas from wherever they came from, and then were sent here by supreme experts to absorb more thunder force to temper their bodies to the greatest level. Then they'll return to their world. Their goal should be the loss present within the immemorial path's tribulation lightning. Perhaps the most valuable thing in the immemorial path is the tribulation lightning during the spiritual key eruption, said Lord Heavenly. He looked at those four mysterious figures with a complicated expression. Here, the aboriginals were like trapped birds, while the immemorial path was their cage. They were treated like criminals. Others could come and go, taking their resources, while they could only endure in silence. These four people hadn't just come to steal the resources. Even their tone toward everyone here was full of disdain as well. It made the aboriginals furious, but they were also powerless. Idiots, can you be a bit faster? I've been waiting for you all day. Long Chen's voice suddenly rang out, causing everyone to look over and see him standing atop a lightning dragon's head, a blood-colored saber resting on his shoulder. The lightning dragon was now eight miles long. Foolish and, you are provoking us. Shut up. Hurry up and kill them. The next wave of the tribulation won't come until you do, shouted Long Chen. You, that voice seemed to be coming through clenched teeth. But before he could say any more words, the sky trembled. Countless human-shaped lightnings fell from the sky. Berserk lightning battle warriors? How is this possible? Lord Heavenly was shocked. What are they? The berserk lightning battle warriors are rumored to only appear in an extremely terrifying lightning tribulation. Each of those human-shaped lightnings possesses their own intelligence. They are created when experts fail their tribulations, and their soul essence is drawn away by them. In truth, each of these warriors is an expert, with an expert's battle experience. They're completely different from those mindless beasts, said Lord Heavenly gravely. This was something none of the others had heard of. These lightning warriors actually possessed their own combat experience? Just as they were filled with shock, Long Chen had already exchanged blows with one of those lightning warriors. He had already met these human-shaped lightnings last time. They were formed entirely of lightning runes, but they were like real people. Even the lines on their armor were clear. When his saber met the lightning warrior's spear, sparks flew. He didn't manage to cut through its weapon. At the same time, the other lightning warriors attacked. Lai Long opened its mouth and devoured dozens of them. But as a result, as soon as it swallowed them, their weapons pierced out of its body, and they charged out. Lai Long's body was huge. But in terms of how solid its body was, it was a far cry from these lightning warriors. It couldn't devour them. Even if it could block them, it would be attacked. Lai Long was infuriated but unable to cause any effective damage to them. Divine Ring. Four-star battle armor. At this time, Long Chen couldn't keep holding back. His divine ring appeared behind him, and four stars circulated in his eyes. His spiritual yuan poured into blood drinker, and blood-colored light erupted. Whirlwind Slash. Long Chen spun, and saw bare key blossomed like a flower. It devoured everything around him. The lightning warriors closest to him were all killed, while the others were knocked back. He killed over a hundred of them in one blow. But that didn't make him the slightest bit happy. He saw that these lightning warriors all knew how to dodge and defend. They weren't much different from real people. In fact, when they had tried dodging just now, there had been hints of battle skills being used by them. Long Chen told Lai Long not to fight. It was just in charge of devouring the remnant lightning runes from when the lightning warriors were killed. Those were most important. Split the heavens. Long Chen repeatedly attacked. He used split the heavens three times, killing waves of those lightning warriors. Their lightning runes were crazily devoured by Lai Long. Long Chen was getting more and more shocked. Even when he was releasing all his power, he still felt a great deal of pressure. These lightning warriors were truly powerful, even stronger than ordinary rank three celestials. While he fought them, up in the void, the four mysterious men panicked. The level of their lightning tribulations had exceeded their expectations. 
They had come here to absorb the remnant immortal aura that lay within this world's lightning tribulation. This remnant immortal aura was hidden deep within the immemorial path, and the outside world didn't have it. Each time the spiritual key eruption occurred, the immortal aura would merge into the lightning tribulation. Hence, their goal had been to absorb that trace of immortal aura as preparations for their breakthrough. But they hadn't expected that incurring the wrath of what they had thought to be an ant-like existence would lead to a change in their heavenly tribulations. They were actually forced into the same tempo and intensity of tribulation as Long Chen. HMPH. Ignorant and. I'll show you what it means for there to always be heaven beyond the heavens. A height you couldn't attain even if you cultivated for millennia. The four people in the divine flame suddenly released multicolored runes. Forming a vague barrier around them. At the same time. A terrifying pressure caused the sky to quake. Chapter 892 Ancient Heroic Spirits Translator Born to be the four people wrapped in divine flame suddenly began to release energy fluctuations. It was impossible to tell what kind of secret art they were using, but the terrifying pressure even came through the barrier of divine flames. The only things possible to see were those four figures flashing into motion and the berserk lightning battle warriors beginning to explode. That scene caused people to be dumbfounded. Just who were these four? As expected, they have to be heavenly geniuses at that level, or no one would have paid the price to break through the walls between worlds and send them here. Countless runes began to appear in Lord Heavenly's white eyes. He stared into the spatial cyclone in the air. That was where the barrier between worlds had been broken. There had to be experts on the other side maintaining it, making sure it didn't close before the lightning tribulation ended. Long Chen also sensed the change happening over there, but he didn't care. Everything was going according to his expectations. He sensed how terrifying those four were. They were experts on a level he had never seen before. They had a kind of aura that made it so even he found it hard to breathe. As soon as they appeared, they had displayed their tyranny, even causing Yu Ziaokian to be injured. Long Chen clearly knew that they were powerful beyond his imagination. But once he got angry, he never cared about such things. He would make these arrogant idiots pay a price. They wanted to undergo tribulation? Then they could go ahead and undergo tribulation. Each time Long Chen had to go through tribulation, he had to fight against terrible odds. Bringing a few powerful companions with him would make it much more fun. He wanted to see if these four peerless geniuses could block his heavenly tribulation. In fact, Long Chen even thought of a certain thing. At the beginning of the tribulation, he noticed that their heavenly tribulations had been nourishing them, as if doting on them with care. This proved beyond a doubt that these four were definitely the favorites of the heavens. They had to be even stronger celestials and received the heavens pampering. But he, Long Chen, was the target the heavens wanted dead. Now that he was undergoing tribulation with them, he wanted to see what the heavenly tribulation would choose. Would it still mercilessly slaughter the four of them to kill him? Or would it let him off because of the four of them? However, up to now, it seemed that the heavenly tribulation had chosen to kill him. It hadn't hesitated just because of those four favorites. It seemed that it wanted to kill them all together. Since that was the case, he was at ease. An intense battle shook the void. There were five battlefields with intense slaughter where thunder and lightning shook the land. Those four experts had clearly released their full power against the berserk lightning battle warriors. There were tens of thousands of lightning warriors. And each time one was killed, another would take its place. Long Chen was doing his best to kill them. But his arms were now numb and he was constantly being injured. There were just too many of them, and they possessed all kinds of attack methods. Some were fierce and head-on, while some were sly and crafty. Each one had their own techniques, and being surrounded by this many of them, strategy was useless. The only thing to do was to go all out. The fortunate thing was that the huge forest in his primal chaos space provided him with enough life energy. Thus, all his injuries were instantly healed. Yu Ziaokian clenched her fists as she watched Long Chen. She was filled with worry, because she saw that what Long Chen had released was just a Xi'anchen cultivation base. He hadn't condensed his initial C. Without condensing his initial C, his spiritual Yuan hadn't changed much. How was he supposed to keep up with such a terrifying consumption of energy? The other experts also saw through the clues, but they didn't dare say anything. Furthermore, saying anything now didn't have any meaning. They could only pray for Long Chen, hoping he could create a miracle. The only thing that comforted Long Chen was that Lai Long was continuously growing as he slaughtered the lightning warriors. Their runes were all devoured by it, and as long as it didn't take the initiative to attack or block those lightning warriors, they wouldn't attack it. As Lai Long devoured more runes, its body grew more condensed. 
gradually appearing like solid matter. It was now capable of blocking the lightning warrior's attacks. That helped Long Chen out greatly as he was in a crisis now. Lai Long could attack some of the lightning warriors and then rapidly retreat. They would instinctively attack Lai Long, but once it fled, they wouldn't chase it. That distraction saved Long Chen a great deal of trouble. This was a shocking battle. The reason Long Chen could last for so long was mainly because he had been cultivating lightning in his body since blood condensation. So his body had a powerful resistance to lightning. If it was anyone else, then just a few dozen of these lightning warriors would take their lives. But when Long Chen was injured, they were just superficial injuries. The thunder force that entered his body was absorbed and wouldn't cause any damage Noveloon.com so Long Chen was shocked to see that those four mysterious men were also able to fight against the berserk lightning battle warriors. However, now they had shut their mouths and no longer continued sneering. It was unknown whether they just didn't have the time or energy to do so. This shocking battle continued for a long time before the lightning warriors gradually lessened. Suddenly, nine huge figures condensed within the tribulation clouds. Each one of them wore strange clothes that were extremely ancient. As soon as they appeared, all sound disappeared from heaven and earth. It was deathly silent. These figures caused everyone to jump in shock. They seemed alive. Even their eyes had light and expressions. They were no different from real people. Ancient heroic spirits. Lord Heavenly's expression completely changed. Of everyone present, only he knew that these ancient heroic spirits were the peerless heavenly geniuses that had fallen during their tribulations. There were on a completely different level than the berserk lightning warriors, and the tribulation had copied their states before they had fallen. Those nine huge figures charged at Long Chen. At the same time, illusory key seas appeared behind them. 3,000 mile key seas. Startled cries rang out. Those ancient heroic spirits all possessed 3,000 mile key seas. They were nine sea expansion heavenly geniuses. But right now, Long Chen was only at the Xianchen realm. Everyone's heart clenched. This was too unfair. This wasn't tribulation, but extermination. Bastard. Just what kind of heavenly tribulation is this? Raged one of the mysterious men. At the same time as Long Chen was attacked, they were also attacked. The first one to face Long Chen was a young handsome man with a spear. When his spear pierced toward him, space trembled intensely and he immediately locked down Long Chen. Boom. Long Chen didn't dare to be careless, and he slashed down with his saber. Cracks appeared in the air. As the void almost shattered, Long Chen's blood flipped within him, and he flew back. This man was too strong, but through this exchange, he confirmed that this man was truly formed of lightning runes. As long as they weren't real people, there was hope. Just as Long Chen was about to attack, his heart suddenly shook, and he activated the lightning body blink. A saber just missed his shoulder, almost cutting off his arm. Lai Long let out a furious roar and attacked them. Suddenly, Two of them slashed their weapons onto its body, and Lai Long immediately exploded. Lai Long could block the Berserk Lightning Battle Warrior's attacks, but it couldn't block these attacks. The two were not on the same level. Lai Long, come back for now. You aren't their match. Long Chen waved his hand. Lai Long's runes returned to his arm. Lai Long's power had grown explosively, but it wasn't a healthy growth. Although it had expanded like a balloon to a shocking point, it wasn't able to endure powerful attacks. Lai Long needed some time to refine the energy it had absorbed, and only then could it release its full power. Right now, it was still too weak. After putting away Lai Long, Long Chen was immediately surrounded by those nine figures, and the pressure instantly increased. These nine figures were too terrifying. Even going all out, he was being constantly injured, and the most dangerous moment was when he was almost cut in two. Long Chen clenched his teeth and bitterly endured. Right now, he was in a crisis. But those four experts were also surrounded in the same situation. None of them were better off than him. And he even saw one of them cough up blood. He, how is the taste of an ant's tribulation? Sneered Long Chen. Bastard, you are provoking us. Just wait one of them ended up being slashed on the shoulder because he had divided his attention. It was unknown what treasure was protecting him. But instead of being caught, he coughed up a mouthful of blood. Now you should know what it feels like to be implicated by another person's tribulation. Fighting all out, Long Chen gradually switched to a defensive battle. He found that although these ancient heroic spirits were powerful, their moves were inflexible. Laws were laws. Their moves didn't adapt as easily as real people. If the nine of them were really alive, Long Chen would definitely die. Even though they were made of lightning runes, Long Chen still couldn't defeat Chiring them. He could only stall and continue watching them. 
Using the lightning body blink, Long Chen retreated, doing his best to avoid facing them head on and preserve his energy. Through the divine ring, he began to restore the spiritual yuan he had used up. In any case, the four of them were undergoing tribulation with him. He wasn't impatient. He wanted to see just who would die first. As time passed, Long Chen was constantly injured, but that wasn't a problem with the primal chaos space. Long Chen was using his life energy to stall while his spiritual yuan recovered. Suddenly, an explosive sound rang out. One of the flame rat men used some unknown technique to kill an ancient heroic spirit. Chapter 893 Kyankan Lightning Chains Translator Born to be that person managed to kill an ancient heroic spirit, but he paid an immense price. He was counterattacked and vomited blood. This is the last wave of the tribulation. Don't hold back any longer, said one of the men. He noticed that after killing one of the ancient heroic spirits, the tribulation clouds above him lessened. Following his shout, the others also began going all out. A huge saber image exploded and another ancient heroic spirit was killed. As expected, as that one was killed, the tribulation clouds in the sky shrank. This represented that once the ancient heroic spirits were all killed, the heavenly tribulation would come to an end. Kill. Those mysterious experts erupted with immense power and were clearly using their ultimate moves. It was impossible to tell what their moves were while they were wrapped in flames. But one thing that could be confirmed was that their strength was horrifying. Even from such a distance, it gave the people watching endless pressure. It seems it really is the last wave. I guess there's no need to hold back any longer. Blood drinker, let's go all out. Long Chen smiled. His vast spiritual yuan all poured into blood drinker. Buzz. Blood drinker seemed to come to life, and a blood colored light soared into the sky. Boom. Long Chen's full strength attack forced back all the ancient heroic spirits and he used the rebound force to soar into the sky, raising Bloodrinker while he was at it. Bloodrinker rapidly grew into a huge heavenly blade. This was a treasure item's true form, a sign it was about to release its full power. Long Chen's spiritual yuan was sucked dry. Blood key erupted from Bloodrinker's blade, forming a huge illusory image. That image was 3,000 meters long, 10 times longer than its true form. Split the heavens too. The huge saber slashed down instantly devouring those ancient heroic spirits. Explosive sounds reverberated. The only thing remaining after that huge saber slashed down was a sky full of lightning runes. All those ancient heroic spirits had been killed by Long Chen's attack. Lai Long. Time to eat. Long Chen summoned Lai Long and simply lay on its head. He felt like he was hollow now. He didn't have the slightest bit of energy left. But fortunately, the tribulation had ended. Lai Long devoured those runes. Although they weren't large. Consuming them caused Lai Long's body to swell up explosively. Its body grew stiff, and it couldn't even swim through the air anymore. It slowly fell to the ground. You've eaten too much and need to digest it. Go into seclusion. Long Chen put Lai Long away again, and it fell into a slumber. Its power had increased too much and it needed to digest it. Seeing that Long Chen's final attack was able to destroy all those ancient heroic spirits, the aboriginals let out a cheer. Long Chen had actually succeeded. Yu Ziaokian even began to cry. Long Chen stood up on the immortal condensing platform, looking at those four figures above. He just managed to see them using their trump cards to kill their ancient heroic spirits. That caused Long Chen's heart to sink. Those four were truly powerful. As the final ancient heroic spirit was killed, the tribulation clouds in the sky shrank. Just as they were about to disappear, the tribulation clouds shattered. In that instant, lightning chains descended from the sky piercing straight toward the five of them. These, these are Kyankan lightning chains. This bastard, run, shouted one of the men, seeming to have realized something. The divine flames on his body suddenly fluctuated, and runes wrapped around the four of them. They flew back toward the spatial whirlpool in the air. Before Long Chen could even figure out what was happening, he was bound by the lightning chains and dragged into the air. He was startled to find that he couldn't even move with the lightning chains around him. Those four rapidly fled, but just as they were about to enter the spatial whirlpool, the lightning chains formed a huge net that trapped them. The four of them were horrified, but no matter how they struggled, it was to no avail. These were heavenly Dao chains and were impossible for them to break. Suddenly, space exploded. A large hand stretched out from the whirlpool and caught the four of them. It pulled, and the lightning chains were broken apart. The hand brought the four of them into the spatial whirlpool and disappeared. Everything returned to normal. That scene was too shocking. That large hand had been hundreds of miles long, like a celestial hand. Just what kind of power was that? 
the aboriginals were all motionless, unable to say a word. This kind of power had exceeded their understanding. Long Chen, Yu Ziaokian cried out and didn't bother with that huge hand. She was focused completely on Long Chen. He was bound by the chains and being pulled into the air. The tribulation clouds had disappeared, but chains were coming from heaven and earth, binding Long Chen. The lightning chains suddenly stretched taut, wanting to pull him apart. Yu Ziaokian panicked. She actually rushed over but was stopped by Lord Heavenly. At this moment, no one could help Long Chen. Fuck, I just knew my luck couldn't be this good. But good thing I still have a backup. Long Chen cursed inside. A seal within his body suddenly opened. This was where Long Chen had sealed all the medicinal energy and essence of the Enlightenment Palace pills he had consumed during this time. The medicinal energy erupted, pouring into the Enlightenment Palace star. The star had originally been almost full and now it suddenly shook. The Enlightenment Palace star absorbed all the medicinal energy that poured out of the seal. This was like the straw that broke the camel's back, and the originally still star began to slowly revolve. As it revolved, it went from an ordinary ball of light to become a planet. Images appeared. Mountains, rivers, valleys. Once the Enlightenment Palace star had revolved nine times, a faint mist began to appear over it. It then came to a sudden stop. The Feng Fu, Aliyah, and Life Fate stars all revolved sending energy to the Enlightenment Palace star. After receiving a trace of the three other stars' core energy, the Enlightenment Palace star suddenly began to rapidly revolve. Long Chen's divine ring suddenly reappeared behind him. But this time, it was no longer 300 meters wide, but 3,000 meters. Red, orange, yellow, and green rings were present within it. It rapidly spun, resonating with heaven and earth. All the spiritual key within 10,000 miles was instantly sucked dry. Long Chen's exhausted spiritual Yuan was fully restored in an instant. His mind shook, and that tearing force from the chains no longer felt so strong. At least for now, he didn't need to worry about being torn apart. Hmm? Something's different. Is the Nine Star Hegemon Body Art C expansion supposed to be done like this? Long Chen suddenly noticed that once the Enlightenment Palace Star had reached perfection, the Four Stars suddenly had small whirlpools appear underneath them. The whirlpools were rapidly growing as energy was poured into them. Could it be these are my initial seas? I have four of them. Long Chen sensed the energy within the whirlpools rapidly growing, but he was unable to tell how large they were. At this moment, he was still wrapped by countless lightning chains. He suddenly thought of something, and his divine sense entered the four whirlpools. He connected them to the chains binding him. Boom. The four whirlpools instantly grew explosively. Four huge illusory initial seas appeared behind Long Chen. Each of those four seas was 300 miles wide, and they blocked practically half the sky. What? Lord Heavenly couldn't help being shocked. Long Chen had originally been in danger, but now he suddenly summoned four huge initial seas? Everyone looked at Long Chen with shock, not knowing what was going on. Long Chen was still bound by the lightning chains. They stretched far into the sky, too far to even see their end. It was an extremely shocking scene. Long Chen snorted. He hadn't expected to accidentally realize the mystery of the Nine Star Hegemon Body Art C expansion. So the requirement was that the Four Stars had to reach perfection before undergoing C expansion. He had almost committed a grave error. Now the Four Cs were connected to the lightning chains, and Heaven and Earth's energy were pouring into them. His initial Cs rapidly grew, reaching 3,000 miles in just a few breaths. Once they reached that size, they continued to surge but something unknown was restricting them. He tried several times without succeeding. He tried many times but gave up in the end. Although there was more energy to be absorbed, this world's loss didn't allow initial seas to grow beyond 3,000 miles. It was impossible to break this law, but having four initial seas still delighted Long Chen. Now he had the equivalent of four dantians, which would give him enough spiritual yuan to play around with. Buzz. The four initial seas disappeared. A key sea appeared below each of the Feng Fu, Aliyah, Life Fate, and Enlightenment Palace stars. The four stars floated above them, each star and sea being one unit. The four seas energy suddenly poured throughout Long Chen's body, and his divine ring rapidly spun. Heaven and earth shook as a terrifying pressure descended upon the world. A will desiring to tear apart heaven and earth's restrictions exploded. I want to see whether you really can restrict me. Four Star Battle Armor Chapter 894 Tearing Apart the Dome of the Sky Translator Born to be as Long Chen struggled, heaven and earth quivered. Each of the chains soared into the nine heavens and deep into the ground. His struggling made it seem like heaven and earth would collapse. 
The aboriginals were pale. They had never seen anything like this and had never imagined that someone could rely on his own power to fight against the heavenly deos. Let's go help big brother Long Chen, said Xiao Fei. Don't mess around. These are the heavenly tribulations chains. Although the tribulations clouds have scattered, the tribulation still isn't over. We would also be bound by the chains, or perhaps even killed, shouted Lord Heavenly, stopping a group of impetuous fellows Novaloon.com they were too young and didn't understand. But Lord Heavenly knew just how terrifying these chains were. They weren't things that could be resisted just through great power. Those chains represented the heavenly deus destructive aura. You've come against me time after time, each time wanting to take my life. You blind heavens, just wait. Sooner or later, I'll tear you down, roared Long Chen as he struggled. He wanted to break these heavenly Dao chains, but he didn't know what these chains were made of. No matter how he struggled, they wouldn't break. As Long Chen's fury erupted, space constantly trembled. Long Chen pushed his four stars to their peak, and he clenched his teeth so hard that blood poured out. Break for me, rumble. Heavens, the void is being torn, with Long Chen's full power erupting. Cracks appeared in the space around one of the chains. As Long Chen struggled, those cracks grew larger. From the pitch black cracks, primal chaos aura poured into the immemorial path like a dam had been cracked. Boom. The cracks continued to grow. And as Long Chen pulled the chain, a hole appeared in the sky. He, he really knows how to pull. Following the creation of that hole, the heavenly Dao chains gradually faded. The tribulation had finally scattered. And Long Chen broke out of his chains. Regaining his freedom, Long Chen looked up at the sky and saw the huge hole. It was in the midst of closing. In less than the time it took for an incense stick to burn, the 10,000 mile wide hole was fully recovered. The sky returned to normal. Long Chen, Yu Ziaokian suddenly crashed into Long Chen's embrace. Long Chen smiled. Sorry I worried you. I was too impetuous. Yu Ziaokian gently sobbed into his embrace, shaking her head. She knew he had done this because of her. But that wasn't important anymore. What was important was that Long Chen was still alive. The heavenly tribulation had come to an end, and everything had returned to normal. Many of the experts collapsed on the ground, feeling like their hearts had been in overdrive. This tribulation had been too frightening. Lord Heavenly had his eyes closed, seeming to be sensing something. After a long time, he finally opened his eyes, a faint smile on his face. Lightning breaks the sky, the immemorial revives. He. So that's what it is, that's what it is. Do you all sense it? Asked Lord Heavenly to the tribe leaders. Sense what? You don't sense the change in the world. With Lord Heavenly's reminder, the tribe leaders spread their senses. An expression of disbelief and delight appeared on their faces. This, SHH, it's good as long as you know. Don't let the children know. Lord Heavenly smiled. Now that the tribulation had ended, Long Chen bid Lord Heavenly and the others goodbye. He returned to the stone tribe. He had finally advanced to see expansion. Not only that, the Enlightenment Palace star had reached perfection, and he had created four key seas. Even he didn't know how much his power had increased. Once he returned to the Stone Tribe, Long Chen got to work, refining pills for Yu Ziaokian. Although he couldn't recover her core energy, he could at least make her feel better. Long Chen, I want to return to the skyscraping world. Three days later, Yu Ziaokian's condition had finally improved somewhat. She held Long Chen's hand, unwilling to part. Long Chen nodded. Yu Ziaokian had a method to leave the immemorial path ahead of time. She had already advanced to see expansion, and her key C was connected to her core energy. She had to return to the skyscraping world to replenish her lost core energy and blood essence. But she also didn't want to part with Long Chen. Just stay for a few more days. Long Chen gently brushed Yu Ziaokian's cheek. He also didn't want to part with her, but he also knew she had to go back to her race, and the sooner the better. Otherwise, if her blood essence was exhausted for too long, it would affect her foundation. Okay, Yu Ziaokian nodded. I'll refine a large batch of sea merging pills for you. When you get back, don't be in a hurry to stabilize your cultivation base. Use the medicinal pills to continue expanding your sea until it reaches its absolute limit, said Long Chen. The sea expansion realm was important. It decided how much a person could grow in the future. So the sea had to be expanded to its peak. The initial sea was just the first step of sea expansion. Once the initial sea was formed, it returned to the Danshan. Through medicinal energy, it was possible to continue expanding the sea. Once a cultivator reached the first heaven stage, 
their realm would completely stabilize, and future expansions would be in proportion to the size of the initial sea. So the greater the foundation, the greater the future prospects. Long Chen spent the next few days refining sea merging pills. Although he didn't have the Earth Flame's power, his spiritual strength had increased after advancing to sea expansion. So the difficult sea merging pills were refined much easier this time. Yu Ziaokian finally left a week later. She slipped away without telling him, but Long Chen was aware. He just acted like he didn't. He knew she had her own sorrows. Her tear-stained face when she left was enough to prove how badly she didn't want to leave. Long Chen also didn't want her to leave, but he had his own things to do. They had to part, and this silent departure of hers was just to avoid feeling more pain. Before she had left, Long Chen had given her a pile of heavenly Dao fruits and sea merging pills. The only way for him to comfort himself was to believe that they were parting so that they could stay together in the future. Two days after Yu Ziaokian left, Guo Ran came. Guo Ran was also a sea expansion expert now. In his high spirits, he acted completely insufferable. Boss, did you hear about it? People are saying that there were experts that descended from beyond the heavens, shattering heaven and earth. It's just sad no one knows if it's true or not, said Guo Ran. It was probably just a bunch of bragging and nonsense. Just let them spread the rumors. How big is your key sea now? Asked Long Chen. 350. How much? Long Chen thought he had misheard. 350 miles, said Guo Ran. How? How could you possibly have done that? Isn't it said that rank 3 celestials can at least expand their initial seas to a thousand miles? Long Chen was speechless. Cough. There are multiple variables in all things. Boss. Don't look at me like that, cried Guo Ran. This wasn't something he could exaggerate to make it sound better. If it was anyone else but Long Chen, he wouldn't tell the truth even if he was beaten to death. You really are a marvel. You're lucky you don't rely on that to live. Boss, I've investigated many things during the past few days. I heard many bad pieces of news, said Guo Ran. What bad news? I didn't expect so many people to have hidden themselves for this opening of the immemorial path. Now that everyone has advanced to see expansion, they've finally revealed themselves. Zhu Yu, Wang Junmo, Yu Changheo, and Ji Changkong have all become rank 4 celestials. And it's not just them. Other sects hid their monsters just for this moment. There are several rank 4 celestials on the righteous side. Who would have thought they would actually restrain themselves for this long? Guo Ran clenched his teeth. Anything else? Long Chen surprisingly didn't care about that. Yes. There are even more experts from the ancient races, and many of them are preparing to challenge Yu Changheo for the position of the number one expert of the Eastern Wasteland's ancient races. And there's also someone from the corrupt path. Something. I forget his name because it was garbage. He calls himself the Ghost King, and he says that he will cut down the corrupt King Zhu Yu and subdue the devil Empress Len Yuian. Len Yuian. Long Chen's heart suddenly shook. Where had she gone? He hadn't sensed her undergoing her tribulation this entire time. According to reason, an expert like her would have caused a tribulation at least on the level of Yu Ziaokians, but he hadn't sensed her at all. Then he suddenly laughed involuntarily. Those four fellows that had appeared had summoned even more terrifying tribulations. In the beginning, people had been vaguely able to see them over the central area, but once their tribulations had descended, no one had been able to probe them. It was reasonable that he hadn't sensed Len Yuian's tribulation while it was covered by theirs. Boss, let me show you my treasure. Guo Ran smiled with pride. That wretched smile made Long Chen's hair stand on end. Guo Ran took on an extremely flashy posture, and a huge figure appeared in front of Long Chen. It was a 300-meter earth dragon. Damn, how did it grow so fast? Long Chen jumped in shock. It had only been such a short time. How could an egg turn into this giant? He... Sister-in-law Menki gave me some special beast taming methods. I don't eat. I don't drink. I don't sleep. All day I just find food for it. At night, I nourish it with my soul. Communicating with it and helping it absorb spiritual key. I really have spent my blood, sweat, and tears on it, said Guo Ran. He was grumbling, but the wretched pride on his face showed the truth. As soon as the earth dragon appeared, it growled at Long Chen. But once Long Chen glanced at it, it went silent and obediently hid behind Guo Ran. Its powerful spiritual perception allowed it to sense Long Chen's terrifying aura. Not bad. A magical beast that's raised properly will be even stronger and more intelligent than a magical beast in the wild. Congratulations on this dragon steed of yours, laughed Long Chen. It's all thanks to boss. Guo Ran solemnly sucked up. 
I'll go say goodbye to the tribe leader. Let's regather with Men Qi, said Long Chen, bringing Guo Ran to the tribe leader's tent. Chapter 895 The Chanting Guo Ran Translator Born to be when Long Chen left the stone tribe, he told them to be careful. Their position had already been exposed. He and Guo Ran moved north, straight for Men Qi's position. Guo Ran told Long Chen that the others had set themselves up around Men Qi, so going to her position was the most convenient. As they rushed on their way, they didn't see a single person. Everyone had only just advanced to sea expansion and needed to use this time to continue expanding their sea. Otherwise, once their spiritual yuan stabilized, they wouldn't be able to expand them so easily. But Long Chen wasn't worried. He had sea merging pills, and he had also sent Guo Ran to distribute those pills to everyone. Although he hadn't been able to give them many at that time, it was enough to keep their key seas active for a while. The two of them were extremely fast. Long Chen was using the lightning body blink. Although he couldn't summon Lai Long's power right now, just the natural thunder force he had was enough to use it. He was like a bolt of lightning. Guo Ran wasn't slower than him. His arms transformed into wings, and wind roared out from behind his butt. He sped along shoulder to shoulder with Long Chen. But Long Chen was still vertical, while Guo Ran was horizontal. Next time you design something, try to pay more attention to aesthetics. Does this really feel like flying freely to you? Looking at the energy shooting out of Guo Ran's butt, Long Chen was speechless. It was all too easy for a person to link that side to a waste like expulsion. There's no way around it. Putting the propulsion at the feet or hands requires the energy to be balanced at all times. At least this way, my hands are free to move as I please, said Guo Ran. He also knew this position wasn't very tasteful, but there was no way around it. Oh, there are fluctuations ahead. Strange, people came out to fight before stabilizing their realm? Let's go take a look. Long Chen changed direction, going toward the faint fluctuations he sensed. Having advanced to see expansion, his spiritual perception had greatly improved, and the perfection of the fourth star made his nine star hegemon body art even easier to use. The two of them were extremely fast. After passing by two mountains, they saw a group of people chasing two women. Those women were wearing the righteous path's robes and the seven men chasing them had their faces covered in scales. Their pupils were like crocodile eyes, thin, long, and vertical. They had to be members of an ancient race. It's the Scarlet Blood Salamander race. They're the most perverted ancient race, said Guo Ran. They were a powerful ancient race, naturally predisposed to be excessively lewd. Whether male or female, they were required to be powerful. These experts had only just advanced to see expansion, and that hadn't just increased their strength. It had also provoked their most primal desires, and they needed to release them Novaloon.com One of their extremely perverted divine abilities was their exceptionally sensitive gnosis. Even from a hundred miles away, they could sense people. So these two women were rather unlucky to be the ones they found. Half of the women's robes had been torn off already. Although they had advanced to see expansion, neither of them could compare to the perverts. Both of them were covered in injuries and had clearly gone through a fierce fight. Now they were fleeing miserably but were unable to escape the pervert's grasp. It was like they were playing with their prey. The Scarlet Blood Salamander experts were like beasts in heat. No way. It's this coincidental. Long Chen was stunned when he saw those two women. Those two were particularly familiar. He suddenly recalled that Guo Ran had acted as the hero to save those two. Last time, they had been chased down by the corrupt path's experts. And it seemed that the corrupt experts had had some immoral goals. Now. These two were being chased by the Scarlet Blood Salamander experts, and their goals were also immoral. These two really had to be excessively unlucky. Guo Ran, I'll give you another chance to be the hero saving beauties, laughed Long Chen. These two women are too fickle and definitely not good people. Last time I helped them, they immediately fled. If I hadn't been able to handle my opponents, wouldn't I have been killed? They don't even have the slightest empathy. Completely immoral, Guo Ran grumbled clearly dissatisfied with their conduct. Long Chen laughed and patted him on the shoulder. Men should be magnanimous. Act straightforward and upright, with a clear conscience. Being chivalrous isn't to get something in return. It's not a case of getting back what you put in. Although most chivalrous people don't have good ends and they'll occasionally be mocked by others for being stupid, they have their own considerations in their hearts. So let me ask you, if we don't do anything and just watch as these two women were used and killed by these perverts, Will you have peace of mind? Not everything you do is to get a return, nor do you need to care about what others think. If you want to do it, 
Then do it. That's called being a man. All right. Boss is always right. Then I'll show off for them once more. Boss. Keep watch and tell me if junior brother's posing abilities have improved. Guo ran shot forward. Turning into a golden ray of light that appeared in front of that group of scarlet blood salamander experts. With a wave of his hand. A golden crossbow appeared and shot out a golden arrow. Those experts immediately sensed him and gave up on those two women. They hastily retreated. A huge arrow exploded on the ground. That was Guo Ran's exploding arrow. Once the arrow exploded, it transformed into countless pieces of shrapnel with immense killing power. However, when the shrapnel struck the scarlet blood salamander experts' bodies, it simply caused some dinging sounds. It was unable to pierce their skin. These experts had inherited the fire-bellied salamander's tough hide, making their defensive ability shocking. Now that they had entered sea expansion, even ordinary treasure items wouldn't be able to pierce their hides if they didn't release their full power. Who are you? Shouted one of them, not having expected anyone to dare ruin their fun. I swept through the four seas, crossed a thousand mountains, caused huge billows in heaven and earth, slaughtered demons, eliminated devils, plucked the stars and moon. If you want a chivalrous hero, you can come find me. Guo ran. The dust gradually settled. A figure appeared in front of the scarlet blood salamander experts. There was a huge golden crossbow resting on his shoulder, slanted at a 45 degree angle. He was looking at the sky. One of his legs lunged forward. His legs were constantly quivering from the effort. That ridiculous pose made people have an urge to throttle him. Then there were the verses he had recited just now. His words had just flowed off his tongue exceptionally smoothly, and the last words were said with extra emphasis, making them sound intimidating. The combination of his heaven-shaking arrow and flashy chant truly were imposing, but regretfully, Guo Ran didn't have his helmet on. That wretched smile of his and his quivering legs made him seem more like a brat in need of a spanking. Long Chen rolled his eyes and patted himself on the forehead. There was no saving Guo Ran. He had definitely learned this from Mo Nian. The new poser method didn't look anything like himself, but that chanting got full points for wretchedness. The two women had been in despair, so it delighted them to see someone come to save them. But seeing Guo Ran's face, they felt a burst of shame. They both recognized him. Bastard, are you looking to die? Just who are you? An expert walked to the front of the group. He was a large guy with huge shoulders that made his neck practically disappear. He was covered completely in scales and his blood key seemed like it was about to erupt, showing just how strong his physical body was. This person was a terrifying innate rank 3 celestial. His voice was like thunder, shaking their ears. Guo Ran jumped, not expecting such a powerful character to come out as soon as he started posing. How was he supposed to continue posing now? Wouldn't he be beaten into a dead poser soon? But then thinking about it, his boss was right there. So what was there to be afraid of? He icily replied. Are you an idiot? Or are you deaf? I've already said that if you want someone chivalrous, you can come find me. Guo Ran. You can't even tell my name from that? Have you ever read a book? Courting death. Do you know who we are? Me Guo Ran. A garbage name shouted one of them. Guo Ran's expression sank and he raised his hand. As he pointed his finger, they thought he was about to curse him. But a golden light suddenly shot out and pierced that guy's head. His entire head exploded. And he fell to the ground. Dead. If a celestial spiritual strength wasn't strong enough, the most fatal part of them would be their head. Once the head exploded, those without powerful spiritual strength wouldn't be able to condense a soul that could escape the body. They would immediately die. The other scarlet blood salamander experts were shocked. Guo Ran had only raised a finger, and there had been no spiritual yuan fluctuations or soul energy fluctuations. This attack had come without any warning. All of them were infuriated and took out their weapons. The two women were also shocked. It was unexpected that after this long of a parting, Guo Ran had become so powerful. That dead guy had been a rank 2 celestial that had just reached sea expansion. Did you see it clearly? This is the result of offending this lord. This lord's jade tree wind misty unrevealed max instant flash kill golden yang finger has never missed. It is known to be the finger that kills gods, slaughters ghosts, the finger that takes all life. You ignorant fools. Did you think this lord was just trying to scare you? Furthermore, let me correct one other thing. I am Guo Ran, not me Guo Ran. Guo Ran's gaze icily swept over them, his gaze full of disdain as if he didn't even place them in his eyes. Long Chen couldn't help but not as he watched from not so far away. Guo Ran had truly grown a great deal. His imposingness could intimidate his enemies. It had to stem from his confidence. 
so he trusted that this fellow hadn't lazed around during this time. His combat power had greatly improved once again. You two, why aren't you leaving yet? Guo Ran asked the two women. We've already been immoral once. We're already full of regret from that time. So now we swear not to do anything immoral for the rest of our lives. Even if we had to die a hundred times, we would die without regret, said one of them. They had already changed robes and were slowly recovering their energy, preparing to fight to the death with Guo Ran. Ha ha ha, you two girls don't need to be afraid. With this Lord present, I guarantee no one will dare touch a single hair on your heads. Hearing their words made Guo Ran incredibly refreshed. He also had to admire Long Chen's magnanimity. That was the magnanimity a man should possess. He was also grateful to Long Chen. If he had just watched without saving them and only learned that the two had repented for their previous actions later, he would have been ashamed. Since you all want to die, then come. We'll tear you to pieces, shouted the innate rank 3 celestial. Wait, wait, don't be in such a rush. Let me first introduce you to a godlike figure. Boss, it's time for you to come out. Everyone, warmly welcome my boss to the stage, shouted Guo Ran, looking toward Long Chen. This bitch. Chapter 896 A Small Test of Power Translator Born to be clapping rang through the air. It wasn't very loud, nor was it very warm. In fact, the only one clapping was Guo Ran. Long Chen raged. You're the one who wanted to show off. What are you doing dragging me into it? He, boss, I've already finished showing off. Now it's time for you to show off your own splendor. Junior brother wouldn't dare fight with you for the stage. Guo Ran smiled mischievously. Wouldn't it be better for you to hog the stage yourself? Long Chen didn't understand. When had this brat learned to be low-key? Cough. After bathing under the baptism of your light all day, after listening to your teachings every day, junior brother's immoral tendencies have already been dispelled. In the outside world, harmony and peace are the most precious. How could I start fighting with others so easily? Seeing Long Chen's despising glare, Guo Ran hastily changed tones. Cough. What I mean is that you know my power. Each time I attack, it costs money. I want to become a hardworking and thrifty man. At least Long Chen understood now. This brat definitely had the goods to kill these people, but he was unwilling. Many of his stronger attacks were one-time things. It not only wasted money, but it also exhausted his time and effort. Thus, he was unwilling. As for the top expert of the Scarlet Blood Salamander race, he was clearly a stubborn, defensive opponent. After considering that, Guo Ran had decided being a poser wasn't worth the money this time. Bastard, you dare to dupe me, roared one of the Scarlet Blood Salamander experts. He shot forward, slashing his saber at Long Chen and Guo Ran. This attack was shockingly powerful. This was the terror of sea expansion experts. With so much spiritual yuan, a random attack could shatter mountains. Guo Ran hastily shot back. A hand caught the saber. Long Chen had one hand behind him, with one hand forward. Holding the saber, that powerful saber key vanished without a trace under Long Chen's hand. Boss really is boss. To grab a blade with his bare hands. What a badass method. Guo Ran laughed as he hid in the distance. Many thanks to senior apprentice brothers for saving us. We thanked the two women. It's fine. You can leave now. Once boss takes action, he'll definitely shake heaven and earth. You two should leave before being blown apart by the shock waves. Guo Ran waved his hand, his eyes only on Long Chen. The two women glanced at each other, clearly a bit disappointed. Guo Ran wasn't warm to them. Perhaps it was due to their previous actions that had caused him to despise them. Without saying another word, they bowed to Guo Ran and left. Guo Ran didn't particularly care about their departure. His focus was on Long Chen. He had to solemnly learn these ultimate poser abilities. Long Chen had caught the saber with one hand, like he had caught a child's plaything. That saber was a low-grade treasure item and its sharpness was shocking, but it wasn't even able to break Long Chen's skin. Long Chen finally experienced the delight of having his strength explosively grow. Having reached sea expansion and completing the fourth star, his physical body was comparable to treasure items. The feeling of catching treasure items barehanded was excellent. The Scarlet Blood Salamander experts jumped in shock. They didn't know this was Long Chen. Although they had heard his name, they didn't realize this was him. Bastard. You dare look down on us, that expert roared. This was a naked humiliation. His aura erupted, and berserk energy surged behind him. It was the sea manifestation of a sea expansion expert. There were two colored runes within that sea. That was the mark of a rank 2 celestial. Following the eruption of his full power, the ground began to shake. 
but he was unable to pull back his saber or to make it even twitch. Too weak. Long Chen shook his head. Suddenly, a cracking sound rang out. Long Chen increased his strength, and that treasure item was shattered. He flipped the tip of it and stabbed it through the expert's head. Blood mist filled the air as he was killed in one blow. The innate rank 3 celestial's expression finally changed. Seeing how terrifying Long Chen was, he immediately attacked. Key waves surged out of him, and his scales began to shine. He smashed his fist at Long Chen. Long Chen also punched out. As a result, that person was sent flying. He crashed into his fellow clansmen so hard that their bones broke and they fainted. As for the innate rank 3 celestial, his arm was completely deformed. He was appalled. Their scarlet blood salamander race was renowned for their powerful defenses. But this one attack had broken his arm. You've attacked twice. It should be my turn now. Long Chen suddenly sent a punch toward the innate rank 3 celestial. This punch sealed any of his escape paths. The innate rank 3 celestial's expression completely changed. In that instant, he felt like his skin was about to explode. As if an ancient dragon had woken and was attacking him. Scarlet blood gold body. His entire body became covered in golden runes, forming layers of defense. He seemed like a golden statue now. This was his race's strongest defensive move. Boom. Long Chen had attacked with his full power. He wanted to see just how strong he was. The result was that the rank 3 celestial's arms were both broken, and Long Chen's fist still smashed onto his chest. The scarlet blood salamander expert stared at the fist stuck in his chest in horror. Your key C isn't stable. Your magical arts are impure. You can't even use your own power. What a waste of my effort. Long Chen shook his head, pulling back his fist. Who are you? The scarlet blood salamander expert's voice was as ugly as clashing steel. Bang. Regretfully, before he could hear Long Chen's response, his body exploded like a shattering statue. Boss, you're too powerful. Even such a powerful fellow was one-shotted by you. Looking at those shattered remnants, Guo Ran was shocked. His boss was becoming more and more of a monster. These people just advanced to sea expansion. They still weren't able to bring out a sea expansion expert's power, which was why they were killed in one blow. The strongest point of sea expansion experts is that they can use magical arts to activate natural energy. But these fellows came out before stabilizing their realm. It'd be strange if they didn't die. However, don't look down on the ancient races just because of this. These idiots from the Scarlet Blood Salamander race should have had many powerful inherited magical arts. The sea expansion realm is the stage where their power undergoes a heaven-toppling change. However, these idiots came out before even cultivating their inherited magical arts. So killing them was just a waste of time. There's no way to judge the ancient race's power through this. Long Chen shook his head. Guo Ran nodded. You're right. In truth, the most terrifying ones are those that have advanced to become rank 4 celestials. The rumor is that rank 4 have an immense suppressive effect on rank 3 celestials. They've already entered another kind of realm. For this many rank 4 celestials to appear at once. Perhaps the immemorial path will be extremely chaotic for the next bit. Many people want to declare themselves king here. Seeing Guo Ran's worry, Long Chen smiled. What are you afraid of? As we swept through the land beneath the heavens. When were we ever afraid of anyone? Aren't they just rank 4 celestials? Just as before. When we see them, we'll smash their balls. He, I knew boss was the biggest poser. To tell the truth, today, I finally realized why I can't learn boss's poser style, laughed Guo Ran. Why is that? Because I'm just acting badass, but you really are badass. I have to act because I'm worried others won't realize I'm a badass, but you, you don't need to act like anything to prove who you are. So in the future, I've decided not to imitate you. I couldn't imitate you even if I wanted to. I have to find my own poser path, said Guo Ran. His face lit up with comprehension. Are you planning on spending your whole life posing? Cursed Long Chen. There really was no hope for him. Then what else am I supposed to do? With how bad as you are, and with me following you, if I didn't show off, who would even be able to tell how bad as I am? Grumble Guo Ran. Long Chen looked at Guo Ran, unable to find a word to say in retort. It seemed this preposterous reasoning of his actually did have some logic to it. Was being a poser also a kind of cultivation? Guo Ran went and resolved the fainted fellows and took away any valuables. The two of them continued on their way. They traveled for a long time, but they didn't meet anyone. It seemed that other than those idiots from the Scarlet Blood Salamander race, no one wanted to waste this critical time. On the way, 
Guo Ran killed two seventh-rank magical beasts as rations for the Earth Dragon. Guo Ran had become a qualified keeper during this time, caring for the Earth Dragon like he would his own wife. After half a day, they reached a desolate temple that had collapsed. There was a statue within the ruins, but it had also crumbled. Only its lower body remained. However, it was shockingly huge. There was a large earth dragon lazily soaking in the sun on top of that the statue. What startled Long Chen was that this earth dragon was even bigger than Guo Ran's, and its aura had already reached the sixth rank. When Long Chen and Guo Ran arrived, the earth dragon suddenly stood up and glared at them. Guo Ran hastily tossed it a magical beast's corpse as a bribe, and it obediently moved aside, revealing a cave. What is this? It takes bribes to get in. Long Chen was speechless. Boss, you can go down first. I'll go out and find some more food. This little fellow's stomach capacity is too shocking. Guo Ran ran off. Long Chen followed the tunnel down. It wasn't long before he entered a large room. As soon as he did, a burst of fragrance attacked him, and a pair of arms tightly wrapped around his waist. Long Chen pulled that sweet body into his embrace. In spite of Men Qi trying to dodge, his mouth firmly planted on hers, giving her a fierce kiss. Chapter 897 Search Translator Born to be Don't Men Qi suddenly cried out and tightly caught Long Chen's evil hand. Her face was completely red. Long Chen had known he couldn't possibly succeed. Other than some kissing and hugging, he was always caught at the next step. Long Chen, don't make things difficult for me. Otherwise, I won't be able to face the other sisters. Men Qi held Long Chen, pleading. But in this springtime of love, such a look made Long Chen even less able to control himself. Long Chen was helpless and could only release her. He was finding it harder to control himself around her, especially because of their bath in the spirit world. He had seen her flawless body, and it was because he had seen it that it made it even harder to stop himself. Being able to look but not eat was an extremely cruel torture. Perhaps if Long Chen tried pleading, he might have some methods that could work with Men Qi's kind character, but he couldn't do such a thing. He loved her, and so he couldn't allow her to suffer the slightest grievance, even from himself. Love required sacrifice. Long Chen, I'm sorry, said Men Qi. Foolish wife, what's there to be sorry about? I was clearly in the wrong. Long Chen lightly kissed Men Qi on the forehead and smiled. Men Qi was truly too kind. Men Qi took out a sleep blanket and helped Long Chen take off his shoes, just like a gentle wife taking care of her husband. It made Long Chen emotional and apologetic, but he really wasn't able to refuse Men Qi's kindness. She also took out a tea set and boiled tea for him, telling him about what had happened to her. Not long after she had entered the immemorial path, she had encountered Ji Chang Kong. That fellow's mouth had been so loathsome that even she had thought he had to die. When she summoned the Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix, she had almost killed that idiot. If he hadn't had a powerful soul item to protect himself, he would have long since disappeared from the immemorial path. After that, she had been sneak attacked several times. What made Long Chen furious was the fact that her sneak attackers were all experts from the righteous path. In the beginning, Men Qi hadn't had the heart to kill them. But later, she found that more and more people were treating her as prey. She was finally infuriated and summoned the Blood Phoenix. As a result, those people all had miserable ends. She went through several trial regions without obtaining anything. In the end, she had inadvertently ended up here. She had found countless soul cultivator inheritances beneath these ruins. So she had stayed here to study them. When asked about how large her key C was, Men Qi responded with 3,000 miles. That made Long Chen relieved. 3,000 miles was a limit. Having one marvel like Guo Ran in the Dragon Blood Legion was enough. When he asked about the Blood Phoenix, Men Qi said that it was out hunting, finding food for the Earth Dragon. After being raised by Men Qi for so long, it was at the peak of the seventh rank. Even if it ran into sea expansion experts, it would have the power to protect itself. Right now, everyone was in the midst of expanding their seas. There would be no problem with it going out alone. It was because of the Blood Phoenix that the Earth Dragon was able to grow so fast. What about you, Long Chen? What happened to you once you entered? Asked Men Qi, handing him a cup of fresh tea. Me? I seem to have been born under an unlucky star. Long Chen couldn't help but grumble. He gave her a simple rundown of his journey in the immemorial path, starting with killing Shu Guanzi all the way to the heavenly tribulation. Just what kind of existences were those four? Asked Men Qi with shock. Who knows? Although they're idiots, I have no choice but to admit that their strength exceeds my imagination. 
I only managed to con them once because my lightning tribulation is special. If it was a true battle, I definitely wouldn't be their match right now. I asked Lord Heavenly, but he avoided my questions, merely saying that I had to be careful of them. Those are peak geniuses. From their tone and conduct, I later guessed that those four are likely those legendary true celestials. In other words, rank 9 celestials, said Long Chen. Men Qi was startled. Rank 8 celestials and below were known as quasi celestials. Only rank 9 celestials were true celestials, but such figures were on the level of legends. In fact, some people even doubted their existence. Long Chen, could it be that you guessed their identity from the start, but still decided to go against them? Men Qi was a bit speechless. My wife really knows me the best. Long Chen laughed, giving her a thumbs up. Don't mess around, I have to say. Your temper really is too explosive. If you don't care about any consequences, you'll suffer sooner or later, said Men Qi. There's no way around it. You know my temper. Back then, I was so angry I wanted to bite them to death. Just thinking about back then ignited Long Chen's rage. They really knew how to act arrogant. And in order to show off how badass they were, they caused Yu Ziaokian to exhaust so much of her essence blood. Even if he had to repeat this 10,000 times, he would do the same. If he didn't go all out against them for such an offense, he wouldn't be Long Chen. That Yu Ziaokian was willing to sacrifice her life to let you escape back in the Jiuli secret realm. She clearly is a woman who cares deeply about emotions and relationships, said Men Qi. Long Chen smiled. Originally, he had just been probing Men Qi's attitude toward Yu Ziaokian by bringing her up. You wouldn't be opposed to the matter between me and Yu Ziaokian, right? Long Chen solemnly held Men Qi's hand. She cares so much for you and is also willing to sacrifice her life for you. She even bitterly endured her own sorrows for fear of implicating you. How could I be opposed to such a woman? Men Qi shook her head. You really are the best. This magnanimous and vast heart of yours is my blessing. Long Chen excitedly hugged Men Qi and gave her a kiss. He knew that someone as kind as Men Qi was the best person to talk to about this. As long as she wasn't opposed to this, then this matter would be easy. However... You shouldn't tell Wanner for now. That girl's spiritual Yuan is wind attribute. And her temperament is also like wind and fire. She's extremely direct. And she won't be happy if you let her know. Warned Men Qi. Then what am I supposed to do? Asked Long Chen. Fool. Didn't you say that you and Ziaokian would reunite? Wait for then. Once everyone gets a chance to know each other. You can bring up this matter again. Wanner isn't unreasonable. Her temperament is just too direct. And if you simply bring it up out of nowhere, she'll think you were fickle-hearted and went out to seduce Ziaokian. But once everyone is familiar with each other and becomes friends, she won't feel that rejection. In fact, even if you don't bring it up, she might help you pull her in. With Wanner's direct temperament, she's amenable to soft tactics, not hard tactics, said Men Qi. Wife, you really are the best. Let me give you a kiss. Long Chen emotionally moved in. No. You'll want a mile if I give you an inch. Men Qi covered Long Chen's mouth with her hand. No, no, I definitely wouldn't do such a thing. I just want to express my gratefulness. I won't believe your lies. This is already the 17th time you've done this. I might have fallen for it the first 16 times. But this time, in the end, Long Chen didn't manage to get his way. But he was extremely grateful to Men Qi. She was definitely the best of all his beauties. Men Qi asked Long Chen about his plans. He told her that he would refine a large number of sea merging pills for everyone so that they could expand their key seas to their limits before reaching the first heaven stage. Now that their initial seas had formed, they would need a certain amount of time to adapt to their dantians. During this time, it was possible to use medicinal pills to expand the sea again. It was said that as long as the medicinal pills were strong enough, it was possible to increase the size of the key sea by 30% before entering the first heaven stage. 30% was a shocking concept. For human cultivators, this could determine life and death. But this was just in theory. The quality of the medicinal pills determined everything. So Long Chen had come over in order to borrow the Earth Dragon's core flame. Long Chen extracted the Earth Dragon's core flame, using it as his pill flame. But during this time, the Earth Dragon entered a feeble state. It fainted, seeming almost dead. But there was no way around it. His Earth Flame was still in slumber and so he couldn't refine higher quality sea merging pills. So Long Chen got to work immediately. His goal was to refine nine ring sea merging pills. Only pills of that level could allow them to expand their seas to their limits. For normal experts, 
increasing their key C by 10% this second time around would be exceptional. But Long Chen was seeking the greatest possible results. He refined for 7 days and nights without sleep, refining over 609 ring C merging pills, as well as over 2000 that were below the 9 ring level. He had Guo Ran rapidly distribute these pills. The amount of 9 ring pills should be enough for his people to reach the pinnacle with quite a few leftovers. As for the remaining ones, he put them away. He was planning on selling them to gain more resources. After all, sea merging pills were essentially extinct in the outside world. Returning the Earth Dragon Golden Blaze to the Earth Dragon, Long Chen also gifted it some of the beast flames he had been raising in his body to make up for the damage. It would allow its core flame to grow even stronger. Long Chen, you aren't going into seclusion with everyone else, asked Men Qi. Long Chen sighed. Song Mingyuan and Li Qi are still missing. I have to find them, but they're my brothers. I have to find them no matter if they're alive. I want to see them. If they're dead, I want to see their corpses. Otherwise, I wouldn't be fit to be called boss. Long Chen gently rubbed Men Qi's cheek. I know my temperament is aggravating and even sometimes stupid, but there's no way for me to change it. I won't be able to have peace of mind until I find them. Don't worry, my Qi C is different from yours. All of you can focus on increasing your power. I'm the one most suited to finding them. After settling all that, Long Chen left with a specialized sensor device Guo Ran had given him. Right now, his greatest hope was that two of their lives were hardy enough. Chapter 898 Finding a Clue Translator Born to be even after three days of searching, there weren't the slightest vibrations from the sensor device. To search for the two of them, Long Chen had picked out nine paths they could have gone after parting with Wild. These nine paths were all paths to the trial regions, with the 10,000 beast forest at the center. These nine paths were the most likely ones they would have taken. But after three days, he had already gone through eight of them without finding anything. If he still didn't find anything on this ninth path, he would have to extend his search region on each of the nine paths again. That would waste even more time. It had been over seven months since the immemorial path had opened. There were less than five months until it closed. He was pressed for time. All the experts were in the midst of a metamorphosis. Once they came out of their seclusions, they would be true experts, and there would definitely be a bloody battle fought in the immemorial path. At that time, the righteous and corrupt paths would fill the sky with blood. But this time, the righteous path was clearly too weak. Furthermore, because of his enmity with Zuyu, the next time they fought would be to settle everything. Even facing such opponents, Long Chen wasn't afraid. The thing he was afraid of was losing his brothers. So he had to find them. Even if they were dead, he had to bring back their bones. He couldn't let them rest forever in this foreign world. A day later, Long Chen's expression was dark. The sensor device still hadn't found anything on the ninth path. In this huge immemorial path, searching for a person was like searching for a needle in a haystack. The nine paths he had picked were just the ones the two of them would most likely have chosen. But who could say for sure just where they had gone? Long Chen stood in front of a barren desert. There was a trial region below, but Long Chen had no heart to check what treasures there were. With the sensor device Guo Ran had made, he would be able to sense them if they were within 3,000 miles. If it didn't sense anything here, it meant they weren't in this desert. Long Chen sighed deeply, calming his mood. He prepared himself to start a new search. Just at that moment, space shook. A terrifying attack shattered the void as it came for Long Chen's back. The attack had practically broken spastime. It had come without the slightest premonition. Long Chen was startled. The attack only accumulated energy for the blink of an eye before possessing such power. With a thought, Blood Drinker appeared in his hand. His spiritual Yuan poured into it, and without looking back, he slashed his saber behind him. Boom. Heaven and earth shook. Long Chen felt a burst of pain in his arm and blew back like a lightning bolt. He shot 300 miles across the ground. He was absolutely shocked. Just who was so terrifying? Right now, everyone had only just advanced to see expansion, but this person's power had already reached such a monstrous level. Suddenly, sword light filled the sky. Like falling stars, they shot toward Long Chen, and an aura of death enveloped him. This attack contained boundless killing intent. Long Chen's heart shook. He knew he had encountered a terrifying opponent. His saber danced, forming a web of saber key. The sword key crashed onto his defensive net, causing heaven-shaking explosions. That power turned Long Chen's arms numb, and he was forced to repeatedly fall back. When the sword key faded, Long Chen finally saw a figure wearing a black cloak. 
But before he could clearly appraise that figure, a huge sword image pierced the sky, parting the clouds. With boundless killing intent, it once more slashed at Long Chen like a devil's blade. Long Chen frowned. His divine ring appeared behind him. The 3000 meter, four color ring shook heaven and earth. Blood drinker pointed toward the sky, and its blood colored runes lit up, split the heavens too. Boom. A saber image crashed with a sword image. This was a world shaking collision. Screens of light appeared in the void, constantly twisting and appearing incredibly shocking. The cloak his attacker was wearing couldn't bear the force of this attack, and it was torn to pieces. His attacker's face was revealed, stunning Long Chen, an elegant, jade-like figure with hair that fell to her waist. The most stunning part of her was her blue eyes that were like sapphires. They shone like the sky stars had fallen into them. In this world, only she possessed such a look. Len Yuan, Long Chen was first stunned, but then he raged. Do you have a mental illness? Len Yuan had attacked without the slightest mercy. Her attacks had been full of killing intent, and there was no way she could argue that she had not been trying to kill him. Len Yuan's delicate mouth curved into a smile. She resheathed her bone sword behind her back and said, Don't be so angry. Didn't I say that I'd give you a greeting before killing you? You, let me warn you. Stay further away from me. I'm not the old me. If you provoke me again, even I don't know what will happen. When I get mad. Sometimes I even beat myself, raged Long Chen. He truly was intimidated by this crazy woman. Len Yuan had also reached sea expansion and now her spiritual Yuan was extremely strange, completely different from before. It contained death key. Furthermore, there was something else to her spiritual Yuan. There was some hidden energy within it. When fighting against her, it was like there had been a death god staring at him from behind. That was an extremely strange feeling. Ha ha ha. Long Chen's words caused Len Yuan to laugh. You really are different from before. I can sense it just from the test I did. Excellent. I was originally going to kill you this time to finish up everything here before leaving. However, your growth has exceeded my expectations. If we fight to the end, the most likely result is that we'll both die. That's not the result I want. So, I can only say goodbye to you now. You want to leave? Great. Cough. I mean, it's great you can have a good rest. After all, for a lady to wander outside must be tiring. If you can find a suitable person, you should just go marry them and leave it at that instead of spending all day fighting and killing, advised Long Chen. Len Yuan smiled. Don't be so happy yet. You're the man I've set my sights on. It took a long time for me to find such an excellent target. I'll be relying on your support to live in the future. Other than that, let me give you a piece of bad news. I've looked through this entire world and finally found what I wanted. Once I return, I'll go into seclusion. Let us meet again once I come out. After saying that, Len Yuan winked at Long Chen amicably and flirtatiously. For a beauty to do such a thing was an extremely moving sight. But Long Chen's hair stood on end and cold sweat covered his back. Hearing that this crazy woman had actually had her own goal in coming into the immemorial path and that she had obtained that goal, her power once she came out of seclusion would be, Do you really have to kill me? Sighed Long Chen. Yes. You're the greatest target I've found in my life, said Len Yuan. If you one day die beneath my hands, will you feel regret? No regret. To die to the man I acknowledge would be my best fate, said Len Yuan, her gaze just as staunch as Long Chen's. Then sorry, sighed Long Chen. Why? My life isn't just my own. My life belongs to my brothers, my beauties, to each person who cares for me. If you kill me, they'll be hurt, aggrieved, and pained. I definitely won't allow anyone to hurt the people by my side. So the next time you come to kill me, I will go all out killing you. I definitely won't be merciful, said Long Chen. Long Chen was furious. If Len Yuan wasn't so terrifyingly powerful, perhaps he wouldn't have to kill her. But Len Yuan had the power to kill him, and he couldn't play with his life nor could he play with the emotions of his comrades. Len Yuan looked at Long Chen for a long time before sighing. Long Chen. You might be the most outstanding man I've seen, but I can't abandon my goal. Perhaps that's very selfish, but there isn't anyone in this world that isn't selfish, including gods. Perhaps you don't understand. Perhaps you think I'm crazy, but as long as you can continue to live until the end, you will understand the reason behind this. Long Chen really was unable to understand her ridiculous goal, but the Eastern Wasteland Bell had said that she had her own reason that forced her to act like this. Long Chen wasn't someone who wanted to be friends with everyone. He was a selfish person. No matter what his opponent's reason was, as long as they wanted to kill him, 
he wouldn't be merciful with his counterattack. This time would be Len Yuan's last warning. Be careful. When Zhu Yu and the others advanced to rank 4 Celestials, they awakened their bloodline power, and their combat power has greatly increased. Regretfully, I'm in a hurry to leave. Otherwise, I really would want to see his power. Remember, you are mine, and you can only die to my hands. Don't get slaughtered by anyone else. Len Yuan reached out her hands and helped Long Chen tidy his slightly disarrayed robes. Long Chen was shocked by her actions. Even this killing goddess had a warm side? Beep. Novaloon.com Long Chen didn't recover for a long time after Len Yuan left. But suddenly, a soft sound woke him. They're here, cried Long Chen. The sensor device had actually sensed something. Chapter 899 Earth Spirit Beat Novaloon.com Translator Born to be Long Chen hastily took out the sensor device. He saw a small arrow pointing to some extremely faint fluctuations. He hastily rushed off in that direction. After just a few miles, Long Chen had to stop. A huge abyss had appeared. It was even bigger than the abyss he and Len Yuan had fallen into. They couldn't have. Long Chen looked at the sensor device with bewilderment. Once he was in front of the abyss, his heart sank. The arrow was pointing down into the abyss. They actually fell down. Now this matter was grave. If they had fallen down this abyss, then even 10,000 lives wouldn't have been enough. When he and Len Yuan had gone all out and worked together, they had only managed to escape with their lives because of a coincidence. But Li Qi and Song Mingyuan had only been at the Xianchen realm when they had left. There was no way they could have survived. Thinking of that, sadness crept across Long Chen's face. Although he had known the chances of them surviving were remote, he had still been hopeful. Now that he was facing this result, he couldn't accept it. No. Long Chen suddenly realized something was off. If they really had fallen to the bottom of an abyss, the terrifying spatial blades would have torn them to pieces. Even the sensor devices on their bodies should have been destroyed. They have to still be down there. Long Chen's heart jumped. Looking down at the abyss, he clenched his teeth and asked the Eastern Wasteland Bell, Senior, if I go down, do you have the power to bring me up? That's no problem, but it would use up one of your favors. Think about it carefully. For two people who are likely dead, you are sacrificing a life-saving opportunity. Is it worth it? Warned the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Of course it's worth it. Anything is worth it for my brothers. Since I know they're below, I have to go down. Even if what I find is their corpses, it's worth it, said Long Chen. Sometimes I find you really are incurably stupid. But I like this stupidity of yours, said the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Its voice contained the slightest bit of gratification and admiration. So then you're saying it's no problem, asked Long Chen. Of course, I am the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Even in my broken down state, such a minor matter is nothing, said the Eastern Wasteland Bell indifferently. But its voice clearly contained its own arrogance. All right, then I'm going down. Go in peace. Go in peace? Long Chen was speechless. Those words seemed rather ominous. Let me say it another way. With me present, you can be at ease as you go. The Eastern Wasteland Bell also seemed to have sensed that its words were a bit odd and changed them. Is there any difference? Long Chen rolled his eyes. Did people from ancient times all talk this way? Are you going or not? Raged the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Long Chen jumped down into the abyss. This time, he was completely on guard. He did his best to control his own descent speed. He found that it was the same as the last abyss. He could only go down, not up. Now that he had jumped down, he had no way back up. He slowly descended. As he got deeper, his surroundings got darker. He suddenly found that this abyss was even deeper than the one he had previously encountered. Eventually, the sliver of the sky disappeared. But there still weren't any fluctuations from below. After another two hours, there were finally some spatial fluctuations. Minute spatial blades began to appear. But these spatial blades were gentle. Almost like feathers. They didn't contain any offensive power. Furthermore, by stepping on them, it was possible to slow his descent. In fact, he could even stay stationary in the air. As he continued downwards, he gradually began to feel like something was off. He was hearing some faint rumbling from very, very far down. That had to be some terrifying force. It made his scalp numb. A hundred miles down, the spatial blades were starting to grow powerful. But he still didn't see any sign of Song Mingyuan or Li Qi. However, the sensor device's vibrations were growing more and more intense. He was clearly getting closer to them. The spatial blades here were now spinning. Long Chen had no choice but to take out Bloodrinker. This time, Long Chen wasn't as miserable as last time. 
These spatial blades weren't able to pose much of a threat to him. Bloodrinker was able to destroy any one of them with a single slash. There ahead, Long Chen suddenly noticed a huge, ancient tower below him. It was a hundred miles long and was stuck diagonally into the side of the abyss, keeping it from falling to the bottom. Long Chen immediately began moving toward it. As expected, as soon as he jumped onto it, the sensor device's vibrating grew to a new level. The two of them had to be in the ancient tower. If it weren't for this ancient tower, they would have fallen to the bottom of the abyss and been exterminated by the spatial blades. There would be nothing left. The ancient tower was piercing the abyss's cliff. It had been split open and he easily entered inside. The fact that the tower hadn't been completely destroyed after falling such a distance showed that it was actually exceptionally sturdy. Long Chen saw two sets of footprints in the dusty tower's floor. He was delighted and hastily rushed deeper into the tower. Song Mingyuan, Li Qi, he shouted loudly. His voice reached every corner of the tower, but he didn't hear their response nor did he sense their auras. That made Long Chen's heart sink once more. He hastily continued deeper. When he reached the peak of the tower, he saw two earth statues. They were Song Mingyuan and Li Qi. Long Chen was startled. The two statues were Song Mingyuan and Li Qi, but their life auras had disappeared. They were standing there, wrapped in earth. Earth spirit bead? This tower actually had an earth spirit bead protecting it? Regretfully, the formations were broken, and there was no one to look after the earth spirit bead. It actually gave birth to its own intelligence and wants to devour their soul essence, said the eastern wasteland bell. Only now did Long Chen see a huge sphere up ahead. It was three meters in diameter and covered in dust. He had just entered this region when his foot was suddenly caught by a powerful strand of earth energy. He instantly became encased in earth just like Song Mingyuan and Li Qi. This earth possessed its own powerful energy that was binding Long Chen. He felt like he was buried beneath endless earth. That pressure made it so he couldn't move. Break. With a loud bang, the earth around Long Chen exploded. This earth was extremely powerful. Perhaps it could trap even sea expansion celestials. But it was far from enough to bind Long Chen. After breaking his earth seal, Long Chen extended his hands and pressed them against the foreheads of Song Mingyuan and Li Qi. He broke away the earth, touching their skin. Good. Good. They hid their souls in their Niwen. They hadn't dissipated yet. Long Chen was delighted. The so-called Niwen was located in the middle of a person's head. It was also called the Niwen Palace and was the spring which gave birth to a cultivator's spiritual strength. When the earth seal had covered him, Long Chen had sensed a special energy from the earth trying to absorb his soul. As for Song Mingyuan and Li Qi, they had been unable to fight against that absorption. So they had sealed their own souls in their Niwen Palace, which had made them enter a state of quasi-death. That was the only way to slow down the absorption of their souls. However, even if they had sealed their spiritual strength in their Niwens, they still weren't able to completely stop it. The only thing they could do was stall for more time. Their spiritual strength was extremely weak now, and the flames of their souls were almost extinguished. It was no wonder he hadn't sensed their life auras. Long Chen's powerful spiritual strength gently entered their Niwens, nourishing their souls. As he did so, their souls were like dry reverbs finally receiving nourishment and recovering. At the same time as they recovered, another kind of energy was absorbing quite a bit of Long Chen's spiritual strength. He sensed that it was being sent to the large sphere. Long Chen's mouth curled into a cold smile. He allowed it to continue absorbing his spiritual strength. Song Mingyuan and Li Qi's souls were extremely weak, and so Long Chen didn't give them too much spiritual strength at first. Boss, it was several hours before their souls finally awoke. Seeing Long Chen in front of them, they were startled and delighted, but also ashamed. Recover your souls fully first, said Long Chen. Although the two had awoken, their spiritual strength was still weak. They needed more time to recover to their peak. Boss, we're sorry, said Li Qi. He felt himself to be too useless. He had wanted to get stronger, but the result was that he had just caused trouble for Long Chen. There's no need for such words between brothers. I have to admire the two of you. Can you tell me how you ended up here? Asked Long Chen as he continued pouring in his spiritual strength. He was curious. Had the two of them wanted to get stronger so badly that they had gone insane? Had they decided to follow the legends of people jumping off cliffs in search of opportunity? It was that bastard Yu Kai Anshin. He joined forces with Xiao Wuji to chase us down. We weren't able to beat them, so we were forced into this abyss, raged Song Mingyuan. He hated those two to the core now, but they hadn't been able to defeat Chiring them. All right, don't be so mad. If you want revenge, you can get it once we get out. 
Once you see those two, just directly crush them. Long Chen smiled. These two really were unlucky. They had fallen here not long after entering the immemorial path. After being sealed here for so long, they didn't even know what had happened outside. As for Xiao Wuji and Yu Kai Anshin, they were just ranked 2 celestials. To the current Long Chen, ranked 2 celestials were weaker than cannon fodder. An hour later, their souls had fully recovered, but Long Chen still kept them encased in the earth. Alright, be careful. I will help you refine this earth spirit bead. It might be a bit painful, but endure it. After saying that, Long Chen's spiritual strength suddenly spurted out wildly, and the two of them immediately felt a burst of pain in their souls. Chapter 900 Huge Skull Translator Born to B.A.H.H. Although the two of them had been warned by Long Chen, they still screamed. They felt like their souls were being torn apart. Originally, half the spiritual strength Long Chen had been sending them had been absorbed by the earth spirit bead. But were his things ever so easy to snatch? It had always been Long Chen snatching things from others, and when others snatched things from him, they had to pay a steep price. Long Chen hadn't stopped the Earth Spirit Bead from absorbing his spiritual strength. In fact, he had intentionally given it his purest spiritual strength. Once that spiritual strength entered the Earth Spirit Bead, it began to spread, merging with every bit of the bead. The Earth Spirit Bead was a spiritual treasure that only Heaven and Earth could give birth to, because it had been nourished by the Tower for so long. It had grown stronger, having its own intelligence. It had actually instinctively decided to absorb their souls to nourish itself. That would make it even more intelligent. In truth, although it was powerful, its current intelligence wasn't very high. Absorbing their spiritual strength had just been an instinct. As for Long Chen's spiritual strength, it just foolishly absorbed as much as it could. It didn't know that once his spiritual strength entered its body, it merged with all its core energy making it so that the two could no longer be separated. Now that the opportunity had opened, his spiritual strength erupted and all of it was retracted. His spiritual strength pulled away all the earth spirit beads core energy. What was entering their bodies was not only a massive amount of spiritual strength, but also boundless earth energy. It ravished their bodies, making them feel like their bodies and souls were about to explode. They continuously screamed, What are you shouting about? Don't you feel embarrassed to shout? Weren't you willing to give up anything, including your lives, in order to get stronger? You're going to scream from this little bit of pain, raged Long Chen. They hadn't listened to him, so Long Chen refused to slow down the energy flow. In fact, he didn't even suppress the Earth Spirit Bead's retaliation, making the two of them endure it. Even since he had heard that the two of them had gone out on their own, there had been a stone on his heart. Now that he knew they were alive, they needed some punishment. Hearing Long Chen's words, the two of them actually did feel too embarrassed to continue screaming. They staunchly clenched their teeth. But it was truly too painful. The superposition of physical and spiritual pain made it so that their eyes were about to pop out and large veins bulged on their foreheads. Finally, the earth spirit bead realized something was wrong and began to crazily retaliate. At this time, Long Chen had no choice but to suppress it with his spiritual strength. Or that power would make them explode. Don't just clench your teeth and wait for it to be over. Hurry and absorb this power. Gather it on top of your spirit root. In the future, you'll be earth attribute experts, said Long Chen. Now the two of them didn't just need to endure the pain. They also had to remain focused and absorb the unending earth energy. After two hours, the huge sphere cracked. The earth spirit beads earth energy had all been extracted and given to Li Qi and Song Mingyuan. Long Chen suddenly felt a burst of weariness. The earth spirit bead was a treasure that had given birth to its own intelligence. The amount of earth energy inside it could be likened to an ocean. He had exhausted a great deal of his spiritual strength to handle it. Song Mingyuan and Li Qi didn't disappoint him. They had both become earth attribute experts and were now lying on the ground like lumps of mud. They had almost fainted several times during this torment. But in order to absorb more energy, they had endured it. We're sorry, boss. When the two of them finally recovered enough energy to speak, their first words were still the same. They were ashamed enough to die. The fact that Long Chen had come down here to search for them made them gratified, but it made them feel even worse. It's fine. Seeing your expressions just now, I feel much better. Don't bring it up again, said Long Chen. He examined their surroundings. The two of them had equally split the immense energy within the Earth Spirit Bead. Now that they possessed Earth energy, Long Chen's plans changed. Originally, he was going to ask the Eastern Wasteland Belt to bring them up, but now that these two had Earth energy, why not have them dig a cave out? 
Although it might take an exorbitant amount of energy for them, it could be treated as part of their punishment. Long Chen, you don't need to worry about leaving here. Help me out. Go down to the bottom of the abyss so I can figure out exactly what happened to the immemorial path. The eastern wasteland bell's voice suddenly rang out in Long Chen's head. What? I'll be killed by the spatial blades, said Long Chen. I'll protect you. I can't go down by myself. Before things come to light, it's not convenient for me to reveal my body. I need your help, said the eastern wasteland bell. Then be careful. I only have this one life and it's very important. Don't make me lose it accidentally. Long Chen bitterly smiled. You two can rest here. I'm going out for a trip. I'll be right back. Not waiting for them to reply. Long Chen flew out of the tower, descending down. In truth, he also wanted to know just what secrets lay at the bottom of these abysses. Last time with Len Yuan, he had vaguely seen a huge chain. But before he could see any more details, he had been forced to flee for his life. Now, the spatial blades were even stronger than before. They came one by one. But this time, Long Chen didn't need to block them. A layer of light appeared over his body, smashing apart any of those spatial blades. After descending more, he saw what was essentially a region of death. Countless spatial blades were clashing here, and space was constantly rumbling. Long Chen felt his scalp turn numb. These powerful spatial blades were as big as a mountain. When they struck him, fierce ripples appeared on the barrier around him. He really was worried that the eastern wasteland bell wouldn't be able to handle it and he would be instantly blown to bits. The only comforting thing was that the eastern wasteland bell was very reliable. Even when those terrifying spatial blades struck him, its barrier still blocked them. Finally, they were getting close to the bottom, but the eastern wasteland bell told Long Chen to slide down from the wall. Those stone walls had been compressed by the spatial blades to the point that they were incredibly hard. After another, even more berserk sea of spatial blades, Long Chen finally saw the bottom of the abyss. When he saw it, his hair immediately stood on end. He saw that the block of land he was sliding down was actually an island, floating in the air. Below it was an endless sea of blood. That sea of blood was filled with surging blood key. Even Long Chen felt terrified by it. There were huge chains within the blood, chains which connected to the bottom of the land blocks. Certain lines on the chains would occasionally light up. Continue forward. The eastern wasteland bell pointed out a direction for Long Chen. He continued. Flying above the sea of blood. The sea of blood was still, but it filled his nose with a pungent smell. Blood. There was human blood and magical beast blood. Just what was going on? What had happened for there to be this much blood? Long Chen was like a small, insignificant fly compared to the sea. It was just enormous. Later, Long Chen realized his speed was increasing. The eastern wasteland bell must have been unsatisfied with his speed and was increasing it. The floating blocks passed one by one over his head. Long Chen shuddered. At this speed, if he crashed into one of those blocks, he would be squashed to death. This speed was too dangerous. He didn't know how far he had flown before his speed gradually slowed down. Following the eastern wasteland bell's instructions, he went along the wall of a block, slowly moving forward. When he reached the end, he raised his head and looked around. What is that? Long Chen was shocked to see a huge altar. Countless chains connected to it. There was a mountain-sized skull on the altar. It looked like a human skull, but it was huge. The skull floated atop the altar, revolving ever so slowly. As it revolved, strange runes appeared in the air. Long Chen could almost sense strange energy flowing through the chains and into the altar. As he looked in horror at this unimaginable scene, the skull slowly turned to face him. He looked into its empty eye sockets. There were actually blue flames within them, and it seemed to be able to see him. Long Chen suddenly felt like his soul was about to flee from his body. A fierce sensation of death filled him from head to toe. It sees me. Long Chen was horrified. His intuition told him that this skull was somehow alive. A ray of light shot out from the skull's eyes. And Long Chen immediately felt the despair of death. He was locked down. This power was impossible to resist. The difference was too great. He was an ant against an elephant. This difference could make a person give up all hope. Leave. Boom. A powerful explosion rocked Long Chen. The land block beside him was shattered. He even thought that he had also been blown to bits. But the scene in front of him suddenly changed. He appeared at the place where he had jumped down into the abyss. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan were beside him. Stunned. Everything he had seen was like a dream. Senior. Forget everything you just saw. Act like nothing happened. And definitely don't bring it up to anyone. You aren't at the level of being able to participate in any of this. Warned the Eastern Wasteland Bell. 
Long Chen was deeply shaken. Perhaps he had just come into contact with a terrifying secret, which was why the Eastern Wasteland Bell was warning him so gravely. He nodded. Overthinking such things wasn't good and would simply cause disorder in one's heart. He directly acted like it had never happened. He gave Li Qi and Song Mingyu in rank 3 heavenly Dao fruits and the peak grade divine mortal molting elixir. Then while the remnants of the spiritual key eruption were still present, they quickly underwent their tribulations to enter sea expansion. The two of them managed to expand their key seas to two and a half thousand miles, which was beyond Long Chen's expectation of just two thousand miles. The earth spirit bead must have helped them more than he had thought. Once they had advanced, he brought them back to Men Qi's location. The Dragonblood warriors were finally all located. Long Chen's heart was finally at ease. Now was the time to refine the true dragon essence blood.